Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Well tonight we have the fabulous Claire Corbett in the kitchen and we know how much you love her. We were just talking about last time when she was here, we asked her to do a little bit more work and we had a break. I don't think we finished till half past midnight, was it? Something, Something like, like that. that. And yeah. you all stayed with us, which was absolutely incredible. you hardcore, you lot. Anyway, we've got Simon on the camera. Hi Simon. Hi Carol. We like these Wednesday nights. Hi Claire. Claire. <laughs> I haven't even said hi to Claire. Hi Claire. Hi Claire. So can you see these fantastic cakes here? Well she's going to show you how to use the stripe combs. You know I've tried and uh, I followed Claire's instructions last time. And When I'm live I get a little bit uh, all over the place. Anyhow she's here to do it again. So I'm sure we're going to be in for a fantastic demo tonight. But just let me tell you a few things that are going on. Okay. Um, our clearance cupboard sale is on. You've only got until the week weekend and once it's gone it's gone that's it we've reduced loads of things i've put loads more stuff in there um molly robbins uh, molds standing up and baby come as a pair and i've actually split them because i found that some of you ladies want them as singles so they're on the website they're in the clearance box as well um they're on the sale our clearance boxes uh clearance cupboard is our sale box really so any of you who want to do the babies let me just get them out do the babies they're called minis so anybody who wants to make the minis you can make six minis uh, from each mold they're fabulous I was talking to some of the ladies at the demonstration day about them and some of them thought that they were a bit small but they're not actually they're a perfect cake size for one or even two by the time you put your sugar paste on them I've actually put the new images on the website you get a great book with them as well showing you how to use them and if anybody wants the link to the live let me know and I can uh, give you the link to the live to it so they're on offer as well and then the ladies are in the shoe kit bling 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 I just walked in with these and Claire went oh they're nice aren't they let's have a look Simon so the photos are on the website are my own I've just taken them in our new studio that we have <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I said to Simon, can you make, can you take good photos of these? He said, yeah, but I, I know I'll have to wait. So I just thought, you know what, I'll take a couple myself that I'll do to get us over until he's got us our photographs. So uh, anyhow, they're on the website. So all you ladies are in the shoe kit class. You know they're there. And the wedge formers are in stock as well. Uh, they haven't arrived in the building. There's been a delay with the printers, but anyhow, they're arriving at nine o'clock tomorrow. So anybody who's got orders waiting for them, they will dispatch tomorrow. I'm actually personally bagging them all up. So I'm working in the warehouse all day tomorrow. That's that one. And then what else have I got to say? I've got to say a uh, thank you to Viv Goddard for these lovely roses. Aren't these fabulous? It's like big, it's like a florist in here, isn't it? But these are sugar roses. These are real uh, sugar flowers. These are real flowers, real flowers. So off Jackie McMinn because uh, I allowed her to stay overnight on her way up with her new doggy last week. And um, these were off Viv. Um, and she sent them me after I made her work all weekend. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't make her work, anyhow. But aren't they lovely? So really very pleased. And um, I've got a lovely thank you card off our lovely breeder Arnold as well, um, saying how much she enjoyed the demonstration day, and uh, which is fabulous. Talking of that, we've got another demonstration day coming up this weekend. We are fully booked. Um, it's uh, We're kicking off with Marion Frost from Patchwork Cutters at 11am. And at 2 o'clock, we will be with Karen Davies. We are going to show you live, so you can join in the fun as well. I've got a new person on camera. It's not Simon. So uh, we've got a lovely lady. I can't, can't remember her name. But I'm sure Karen Nade will be watching. She can save, uh, save me there. So we're in for a great day on Saturday. So you're going to see us a lot this week. You're going to see us tomorrow at 8 tonight, tomorrow at 8 o'clock, and then on Saturday, two lives. Now I'm going to buzz off, let Kate get, let Claire get on with her demo. I was going to call you Kate then. Did you say Kate, that? Let Kate, Kate get on with it. <laughs> let Kate get on with Claire. <laughs> let Claire get on with her cakes. And I'm going to go and run and make me and Simon a brew. Oh, last thing. You saw a little post on the group, the charms. So if you place an order over £40, we do send out free charms. But this month, um, we've all lost somebody in our lives. But uh, sunflowers are quite special to me because I lost a very dear friend last year. She was only 39. Very suddenly, just without, within, within a few days. And... Um, so the sunflower represents us. There's free to collect. So any ladies who want to see the free that you can collect, 
they're the, the are. And uh, some ladies are actually amazed because they always get a different charm and don't know how we do it. Well, neither do we, we just drop lucky. But um, what I've said is, if you don't want a duplicate, just send a message to the office with a picture uh, of the ones you've got and they'll pop a different one in. Yeah? Right, I'm going to make it a brew pie and I'm leaving you to it. There you go, love. Hi, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you all. So, um, yes, Carol said, I'm going to do a couple of cakes for you with buttercream. I'm going to make some Swiss mang buttercream today. Um, I'll do all the levelling and the filling and the uh, crumb coating. And then I'll be using the texture combs. I'll do some fancy bits of piping. We're going to colour up some sprinkles to use as well. So, yeah, we've got absolutely tons to do. And we're going to try to finish at 10, 10 o'clock. <laughs> right, so... So I'll just move these to the side. We're not going to do rainbow tonight. Um, we are going to do stripes, but we're not going to do rainbow stripes. Um, we're going to use our um, colour mill, um, natural, nature, na nature, natural, natural. Yeah, it's the new trending colours. They are the new trending colours. So the reason we're using these is because um, does anyone still use Pinterest? I went on the other day and there's like nothing, no, nothing catches my eye anymore. It's all, um, all on Instagram, I think now. So what I've seen on Instagram is everybody's using these sort of autumnal tones. So that's what we're going to go with today. So we're going to try and do um, at least two cakes, which will be fun. At least two, she says. Um, so we're going to do a uh, black cake. Um, with one of the texture combs. We're going to do a stripey cake with the um, natural tones and then we'll probably do one of the... Uh, Carol's got me these scrapers here. We'll probably do one with the... Um, what's it called, that? What's it called, Simon? Help me out, man. Um. Don't know which one are you talking about? Scallop. Scallop Ted. We'll do the scallop Ted. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to pop my gloves on because you know I don't like buttercream on my fingers. At all. So gloves on. And we will get cracking. So, how many are watching, Simon? I'm just about to have a look. How are you? And can you tell me who's there? Um, why? I'm just curious. I feel like Simon's very nervous today, guys. I don't know I what's up with him. I think he's nervous. I don't know, I don't know why. why he's so uptight. But... I had him walk in. I heard him walk in and go, hello's my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, before we came on the live, Simon and I have cleared the air a little between us. Um, it was tense at first but I feel like we've made progress anyway. <laughs> but there's just... Um, I'm looking... I mean when Simon got here I was pretty much, why don't you love me anymore? <laughs> and, um, I don't know why you thought I hadn't and I didn't. He just... I just feel like... I just felt a bit betrayed, guys. I just felt a bit betrayed. I mean he says one thing to me, he says the same thing to another. I and did it was getting not. A bit, and it was getting a bit out of hand. I, I saw it with my own eyes. I heard yeah, it with my own you ears. Did not. Um, and I just felt really betrayed. And I know everybody was thinking about me and thinking, "Oh, poor Claire, she's going to be devastated." And I was to an extent. Yeah, I was. I won't lie. I was hurt. But we've talked about it, and I think I think we're past that now. Simon, would you say we're past that? Would you say that Even we're until Jerry's back? Well, I've got a solution for this now. If we could just get this over and done with. If you could just say now in front of everybody, Simon. Yes. If you could just denounce all the other cheaters and I claim me. all the other cheaters. And claim me as your favourite. claim you as my favourite. You heard it, heard it. <laughs> I knew it, guys. I knew it. He's just, trying to, he's just trying to appease everybody else. We all know deep down it's really me. So. <laughs> But I just wanted everybody else to know, you know, instead of feeling sorry for me all the time. Right, let's crack on now that the uh, elephant's out of the room. <laughs> 
So I have here um, 500 grams of butter that is really, really nice and soft. And I'm just going to whip that up a little bit with the beater on. Uh, switch the power on would probably help. There we go. Just let that go for a couple of minutes. It's really nice and soft, so it shouldn't take too long. And we're going to use a full bag of whipping it up. And I'm going to take my glasses off because they're annoying me because they keep sliding down my nose. So yeah, we're using a full bag of whipping it up uh, to make our Swiss man butter cream. And we've got 270 ml of water as well. So that's the first thing we'll do. Uh, I've already got two more loads of butter cream ready made so we can get going tonight. Sorry, Carol, you can be just make a Swiss meringue really quickly. I've been practicing so I'm better at this now. Hopefully, she says. I'm going to land myself right in it, aren't I? So just let that go a little bit longer. Who's there? Is anybody there talking to me, Simon? Um, who's talking to you? Um... Kit Curran says I'm here. Sue Mary's here. Oh. All the regulars. Debbie Hargreaves. How do Debbie? I can't name everybody, obviously. Yeah, it'd take a while probably, won't it? If we, uh, if we name Cass everyone. Gibson. Hi, Cass. Is she a friend of yours? She's the beavis to my butthead. <laughs> she is That's a friend of That's not exactly mine. what she says. My hair is butthead, I am beavis. <laughs> Did you read it? It's a... Uh, I can't even remember what started it, but it's been going on for a while, yeah. It has been going on for a while. I think I might have done that at live at some point, but yeah. Okay. It's been a long running joke. <laughs> So I'm just giving this a scrape down just to make sure it's all nice and soft and then I'll just carry on whipping that a little bit longer. Right, well I'll sit down and I'll get to the comments now. Have you been doing the comments? Have you said hello to your friends on YouTube? Uh, I've, I've said hello to f some Facebook ones. I've Very not good. said hello to YouTube yet. I've been ignoring them. So, hello Lynn Soft on YouTube. Oh, that's a new one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, hi Lynn. Hi Lynn. Jill Cook. Oh, hello. Hi Jill. Kevin, she's our favourite. June, Jackie, Dory. <laughs> Don't start throwing around favourites. This is how people get in trouble. <laughs> but you start as well. Is that a wipe? I've got some butter on my uh, dial. Just let that go a little bit longer. Just so it's lovely and pale before we get started adding anything else in. And I'm using a uh, coconut flavour tonight. Smells really good. Mm. I love the coconut. Lovely. Mm. And I think we're there really with the butter. Looks lovely and soft. Do you think, Carol? Lovely and soft. Yeah, nice. that'd be great. I mean, I normally beat it for longer than that. Do you? Make it nice and white, but you're going to colour this anyhow. Yeah, it doesn't it really matter, doesn't does matter. I'm just going to scrape it off my beater. It was really soft at the start, anyway, so. And it looks as though it's firmed up, doesn't it? Right, well, we've got a nice audience, Claire, watching. So, wow. sorry, everybody, for um, late on comments. We've got a couple of birthdays. So, um, I'll shout some happy birthdays out to Tia. I don't know which Tia it is. So, I've seen that you're all saying happy birthday. We'll do a bit of a sing-song later. If it's anyone's birthday, anybody else's birthday, let me know. Simon, please do remember Tia. I won't remember. Remember to what? Tia, but it's Tia's birthday. Tia? Tia. But, um, because I've come in now, I can only see half the comments. Oh, it's going to be Debbie Cottrell on Saturday who's going to be doing the filming. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yes, nice lady. Okay, 
Okay, so bag of whipping it up. Oh, don't spill it like I just did. I found it. So it's t Sheila Perts. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not that. It's not. No. Tracy Orwin drops. Please say hi to my granddaughter Tia. Aww. It's her birthday and we're watching together. Right. Found it. Aww. So we may as well get this done now. How, how old is Tia then? So I'll let you find, let you tell me. But while we're doing that, come on, girls. Let's get this little girl's birthday sang. And um, are we ready? Yeah. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Tia, happy birthday to you. Woohoo! So we'll find out how old she is in a minute. I said little girl, I got told she's 30 in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh bless her. Happy birthday to you, watch, enjoy watching the live tonight. I'll keep my language PG then. Right, so just giving that a good chop in, just so my icing sugar and uh, egg white doesn't end up going everywhere. My whipping it up even. And, it's, all, in layman's terms. and it's also uh, Dean has his dog's birthday, Watson's. So I'm happy birthday, to Watson. Watson. As well. <laughs> <laughs> Woofy, woof, 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 woof. Got lipstick on it. Probably. I'll get that in a bit. <laughs> no one can see it on the camera, it'll be fine. <laughs> I can see it if you like. No, you're all right, cheers. Yeah, so happy birthday, Watson. I don't know any, I don't know how to sing happy birthday in woof, woof language, do you? No. A woof, woof, woof. How do you do it? Woof, 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 my career really come to it. I tell you, you saved us there, Claire. You really did. <laughs> oh dear. I feel like I've made some questionable life choices. <laughs> right, that is nicely chopped in, so we'll pop that back on the mixer. There's my kitchen roll. Oh, so um, Tia is 13, going on 20. Oh, we understand that, all of us. We definitely do. So she still won't like being called a little girl? No, she won't. She's a big girl. <laughs> right, how long do you like to mix this in before I start with the water power? Um, just get it incorporated, then start adding the water. Okay. Just trickle the water in. On about a three, would you say? You start off, at, yeah, you start off low and then you build it up. So this is whipping it up, okay, so first of all you um, you whip your butter up so it's lovely, light and fluffy, if you want it in light pastel colours. Then you um, add your flavoured whipping it up in, and then you start trickling in the water, okay. Right. And you trickle it in and you don't throw it all in in one go, because if you do it's going to curdle. I will tell you, this week we are putting up a series of... Um, on a series on how to make the whipping it up and any troubleshooting. So Karen has been filming them with the girls and I think the girls are launching them tomorrow. So that you'll see them on the page, you'll see them in the community group and that then we're going to um, put them in their own little section on YouTube. So you can always go back to them and refer to them. Maureen's birthday as well today. Right. You'll have to wait, Maureen, but happy birthday. Say, let's, let's yeah, let's save them all now. So we've got Maureen. Oh, Maureen. Oh, Maureen. Oh, Maureen. Oh, Maureen. So if you put too much water if you put too much water in, just slow the machine down while it incorporates. That's if it gets a little bit slippy. It looks fine. It does just say it's looking fine to me. So if it, sometimes when you put too much water in, it starts slip slopping around. So um, just slow the machine down while it incorporates and then take it back up again. And you just keep trickling all the time, Claire. Trickle, trickle. And then you'll, you'll see when it gets a little bit too slip sloppy. 
because I'm looking from the back. I know. It's not so easy to yeah. stop it. I can't do it from the back there. I'm trying to show the drug going in yeah. on this camera. I've always been clever, but I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Maureen is hiding. Let's do it the other side then. Maureen's hiding. Don't worry, Maureen. We'll be after you. You do use all the water. You use 270 mils for a full packet. So for whipping it up, it's 500 grams of butter, 500 grams of whipping it up, 270 mils of warm boiled water. Okay. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? And I've just seen a question there that somebody said they didn't realise they had to use water with the whipping it up. And why do you need to do it? You need to do it to rehydrate the egg white. Um, because it's egg white that you would usually use when you're making Swiss Wrangle cream from fresh. So thanks Karen Naylor for popping that answer up there. Um, and the good thing with whipping it up, in making it as a Swiss meringue butter cream, it's used with um, pasteurised uh, egg white powder, which means it's very safe for pregnant women. Um, also, um, you don't need to worry about having to use it very quickly. So it's, you know, you can actually store it in the fridge and reuse it. You don't need to worry about it being raw egg white. But to be fair, Swiss meringue butter cream, you cook it anyhow, don't you, on the boiler? Yeah. yeah. Um, some of you are having trouble with the hot weather. You can use whipping it up as normal buttercream. Uh, because of the egg white, it will firm up your buttercream, like royal icing. Okay, so all you do is just don't add any water. Just whip up 250 grams of butter, okay, and then the 500 grams of whipping it up, exactly like buttercream. And that will make a much firmer buttercream. And Lorraine Pike says, Carol, I made the Swiss mango cream last week. It's amazing. And thank you so much for all the lives which have helped so much. Nearly there. Yeah, so you've just got to be patient. Oh, you've just got a little bit too. So see this now. Slow it down. So when it gets too much water, just slow it down for a minute. So, because um, otherwise, if you have too much water and it gets a little bit slip sloppy and starts coming out all over the bowl. So we're just going to incorporate it. And then we're going to turn it up fast as soon as it starts going in. Don't add any more water at the moment. And uh, and then you turn it up again. It's very easy that to do. Fine now. Yeah, and then again. quickly whack it up again. Just give it a whack before you put any more water in. Um, a lot of ladies go throw all the water in at once and then wondered why they have curdled Swiss meringue butter cream, but we'll talk about that at future times. So then you can start putting it back in again. You can hear the machine slowing down, can't you? You can hear it when it's firming up. So May Jane said she used the coffee whipping it up. It was blooming lovely. I have to say, I think coffee is the new favourite for everybody. <laughs> Geraldine Allen, it's slip slop time. <laughs> I know I have my funny words, don't I? <laughs> That's how I used to speak to the kids. That's how I remember things, can't remember big words. Struggle to remember my name at times. I can't um, hold that much information in my head anymore now. No. It's all gone, so I'm sort of. I know everything about that. That started when everything. you were pregnant with the baby, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. you know that I used to come in and remember all yeah. the recipes, I never had to look yeah. at anything, and now I'm like, how much is it? When do I do that? <laughs> yeah. A 
then if you're happy with that, it should be done. Turn the light off. Didn't know it was on. I must have rested my hand. Mind you, the light. Sorry. It was just blowing out the. Um... Ah. I don't understand what you're saying. When you need to no, I never do. I know it's funny, isn't it? I don't understand any sign language now. There's been that much. It wasn't official sign language. Was it not? Wasn't the official version then? No. Yeah. <laughs> How are we looking at it? What do you think? Uh, it's looking good to me. Ready? Yeah, I think so. Ready. I would have said ready at home, but yeah. with you being here, <laughs> I thought we'd better check. <laughs> yeah. And now the Swiss Mangle screen is really very, uh, how can I explain it? Smooth. Yeah. And smooth and lovely. And um, if some of you always. It's some quite of you, silky. That's it. Rather than. Yeah. Like it, it doesn't feel thick at all. It just feels yeah. really silky. Yeah. Some of you complain about buttercream being grainy. And you know what I have to say? I'm not going to say it because I wait till you all answer. But. Um, <laughs> Because you all know what I've got to say about it, but um, if you don't like that, then you should really try the Swiss meringue buttercream. Okay. Now, when it comes to colouring the Swiss meringue buttercream, it is an oil-based um, product, and the reason it's oil-based is because it's got a lot of uh, oil from the butter in the product. So you can use water-based colours like Fractal, like Colour Splash, but just go for a pastel colour. If you want to go for a deep, rich, dark colour, then use a, an oil-based colouring like Colour Mill, which is what we're going to use tonight. Yeah, there we go. So who was the first one there? Jacqueline Penfold, no fingers in the icing. That's it. Marie Constable, good girl, keep your fingers out the bowl. And Debbie Hargreaves, keep your fingers out the bowl. There you go. Well done, ladies. That's what we like. It's no fun, though, is it? Pardon? It's no fun, though. No, but that tells me how many people have got their fingers in the bowl when they're going on. It's grainy. You shouldn't have your fingers in the bowl. Just wear gloves, it's fine. Okay? <laughs> Just wear gloves and it'll be fine. Yeah. Shouldn't have your fingers in the bowl, ladies. But what I will say to you, when you put buttercream on a cake, nobody ever comes back and goes, oh, that buttercream is grainy. Never do. Oh, I can tell you've had your fingers in the bowl, though. Oh, I have. <laughs> many times. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so that is beautifully silky smooth, and I'm going to pop that to the side. Right, can everybody see that on the overhead? So do you want to just paddle it so, um, under the overhead there, see, so that they can see how smooth it is? And if you've not tried this, you really want to try it. It's absolutely lovely. It's just like, um, it's just really soft, isn't it? It's yeah. just really, um, yeah. but it stands up well. Yeah, it does. It's, diff it's really difficult to describe. But it's beautiful. Yeah. Again, you can use the powder colours, but if you're going to use powder colours, then you need to mix powder colour with a drop of water first, make it into a paste, then add to it. Again, only go for pastel colours, unless you're going to use a chocolate powder colour, okay? Because there's something in the cho in the in the um, chocolate colourings that ha that get absorbed. Yeah, they're like a liposoluble powder, aren't they, rather than a... So, funny enough, Caroline Croft, um, uh, Claire is going to be making black buttercream. She's, she's actually made, made a it. load of black buttercream already tonight. Um, we've used Fractal, but we've done that with buttercream, not with the Swiss meringue buttercream. And the reason we've done that is because I didn't have any black colour mill in stock. So, what she's done is, there you go, already made... See how lovely that is and black. So Carol will tell you earlier, um, I just made this maybe an hour and a half, two hours ago, and it was more grey than anything, wasn't it? Yeah. But we just let it sit and now it's black. So Yeah. Just gotta be patient. You've got yeah, to do the same just, with red. Just give well. yourself a bit of time, leave it leave it to the side and it will turn black. It, it's not um just don't keep adding loads and loads and loads of colour. No. Um, no, it was a grey colour and then it went a yeah. charcoal grey and then it went black. And that's the same thing, I was just trying that before I did the big yeah. batch. Uh, so that can go in with the big batch. That's so nice. Claire is covering two cakes tonight, one with buttercream and one with Swiss meringue buttercream. She's not making the buttercream in front of you because you've, you've already seen that before. Everybody knows how to make buttercream, I think, that watches the channel, don't they? Because we make so much buttercream all the time on here. So let's just get on with the... Um... 
So Maxell Newman said, Maxell Newman says, I don't know about fingers. It it's, it's, uh, used to be the tongue. I will agree. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love licking the beater. Guys, it's spat <laughs> this is what spatulas are for. Licking off the spatula, seriously. Yeah. It's the best bit of the job. Um, I think, Viv, you mean um, Swiss meringue buttercream. Viv has put, can you use sugar paste over smack? But I think she means Swiss meringue buttercream. Yes, yeah, she can. Just pop it in the fridge first. So when you've done your cake, you've covered it, pop it in the fridge first, and then come, then uh, once it's set, once it's firm enough, then put your um, sugar paste on. And Donna Vernon Millard says her husband loves the Swiss meringue buttercream. It melts in his mouth. That's it, it's melting melt your mouth stuff, isn't it? And it's not overly, it doesn't taste as overly sweet. Yeah. As buttercream can. So somebody's asked, what is the best colour to make black buttercream? Well, I've got to be honest, I've made it with Colour Splash and Claire has made it with Fractal, Fractal. tonight. Um, because I didn't have any Colour Black Colour Splash in stock, I brought the Fractal out and she made it with that. Uh, I see Pat S says uh, Sugar Flare Black Extra. You could yeah. use that if you want to. Um, but uh, you know what, I use Colour Splash and, and as I say, Claire's used Fractal tonight. So you're not going to cut the cakes like I cut them then, Claire? You did the professional oh, way. Yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to do it the right way. <laughs> no offence, Carol. <laughs> so what What's I'm, wrong with my way? <laughs> nothing, I just like to keep all my fingers. Um, so <laughs> we're just going to use one of these nice big serrated knives and I like to get eye level and just make sure that my knife is straight before I start cutting and then I just basically hold my knife still and twist my cake around very carefully watching the blade until I'm all the way through that's one and again just come down eye level to make sure you are nice and straight and in the right place and then just hold your knife still. Just make sure your clean film's not in the way. So Karen, Karen mm -hmm. Bowman says, can you use plant-based butter with it as my husband is lactose intolerant? You can for the um, but for the normal icing sugar. I haven't tried it in whipping it up, so I can't give you an answer on that one. I really must. I really must give that a try. Lorraine Pike says it's like eating velvet. Mm. I've never ate velvet before, but you know I believe. I would it. imagine that is quite a similar texture. I'm talking nonsense now because I'm concentrating. Sorry, guys. Oh, Lorraine Pike says, yes, she's used Flora Pike plant and it's been fine. Fabulous. That's the great thing about having a live audience, isn't it? Somebody's always tried if we don't know the answer. Okay, so let's get started. Let's start with one of the bottoms. I'm just using five inch cakes. There, and into the middle a bit so that you can get overhead if you need to. So, how would you make it whiter? Okay, well, you can. I generally just whip the living daylights out of the butter, but if you really want it white, we have two products for sale one is Whitener by Ingenious Edibles, and the other one is Whitener by Wilt Wilton, and both are excellent. They are on the website. I'm filling. I'm not going to put any jam in these, um, just because I don't want them sliding about all over the places we're working tonight, just because I want to be quick. Yes, Rita, if you're only using half the mixture, you only use half the butter and half the water. The black looks really silky, and that's our buttercream, not Swiss meringue buttercream. I think, Claire, I'm going to have to interrupt you and get you to make the black for them, because they're asking loads of questions yeah, sure. about how the black... So, if you just stop asking the questions about the black, and when Claire has put this cake together, I'll get her to do you a batch of black buttercream. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll make grey buttercream, and then by the time we have finished, finished... It'll be black. It will be black, yeah. 
So because she wanted a black for tonight's live, Claire got here about six o'clock tonight and made a batch. Um, was it six? I passed five. five. Was it five, was it? <laughs> yeah. Been here Actually, it was, yeah. Yeah, it was five o'clock. Yeah, she got here at five o'clock today, and that's it. As soon as she walked in, unloaded everything, she made the black buttercream because she wanted it to... Um, uh, to develop rather than using a lot of colour. I couldn't think of the word develop. I was going to say mature. <laughs> I do Can you use ganache with Swiss meringue buttercream? You can. You ganache your cake and then Swiss meringue buttercream it after if you want to. Or Swiss meringue buttercream at first and then uh, use ganache after it depends what you're doing if you're going to cover it with sugar paste it'd be best to put the Swiss meringue buttercream in the layers do a crumb coat and then ganache it so I'm doing these really nice and tall if you hadn't noticed <laughs> the cakes really light so it shouldn't need any extra support in there with it just being five inch cakes should be fine. But you're chuckling at you. I'm laughing at Jane McDougall. So, we had a lady come to the demonstration day and she came with her mum, um, Janie, Janie Stott. And every time she phoned her mum through COVID, because she, she obviously couldn't see her. Mm. Uh, Jane said, oh, I'm just watching Sugar and Crumbs. I'm watching Sugar and Crumbs, and it's always Sugar and Crumbs. And so when she comes to the demonstration day, she jokingly said, I come to see what you're all about. I actually was beginning to think you were a cult. <laughs> because that's all <laughs> yeah, she heard. that's about right. Her whole conversation of her mum was uh, Sugar and Crumbs. And then uh, Jane McDougall, because Viv Goddard has got her words muddled up and put... Um, oh, smack. No. Jane McDuda says we're all we're all cult following S and C smackheads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure I really want that as part of our thing. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> not the greatest tagline I've ever heard, but and Karen, and Karen Naylor, you shouldn't have any of that crumblicious in the fridge. It was for Laura Marshall. It was meant to have been sent over to Laura at Unit Six for her to take home. So there shouldn't be any in the fridge. <laughs> Poor Laura's going to cry. Karen made that specially for her and packed it up. Get your fingers off. <laughs> That's it. Nothing sacred, is it? Nothing safe when it comes to cake. So, Denise Long, hi Carol, if you use the whole bag of whipping it up, Swiss Man Buttercream, will it cover an 8 inch four layer cake? Um, it will, but obviously it's going to be a thinner coat, isn't it? So it depends what you want to do with it. So it depends how much, butter, how much of it you put between your layers and how thick a coat you will you will put on it. Obviously the bigger the cake, the, less it's, the thinner it's going to be. So I'm just chucking a quick crumb coat on here. And then we'll get our next cake uh, leveled and filled while this one just chills for a little bit. So I've spoken to Karen Griffiths tonight. She's arrived at her holiday destination. And uh, we spoke to her at tea time, didn't we, Claire? We did. And uh, she was very happily sat in the bar. So I take it she won't be watching us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> she was sat in the bar at five o'clock. <laughs> Don't blame her, I would be. Yeah. Last time I was here when I got home, you know, like one one thirty in the morning when I got home. <laughs> <laughs> what did your husband say? He <laughs> rang me on the way home. Yeah. Um, come up in, on the stereo in the car, the the, cut, the call, and he was like, "Are you okay?" And I was like, "I don't know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> don't know where I am. The close the motorway junction." And I took I took I meant to take the first exit around about. But there's a new road there, and I got confused, and I took the second exit, and then I was—I just couldn't get off this like dual carriage <laughs> train. I had like no, no roundabouts for like for miles, no turnings, and I was just dying more and more with every mile I drove. I was just dying a bit more inside, and then uh, he was on um, the early shift, so he had to be at work at six o'clock in the morning. So he was just hope, you know, wanting to be awake still when I got home. So he listened out for the door going, and then I went, I'm home, like that upstairs, and he went, okay. 
And then I just poured myself a massive glass of rum and sat in front of the telly for an hour. I think you do have to sit in front of the telly for an hour, yeah. don't you? I've got to be honest, after a live, I just go and sit and watch. I either go and work or I go and sit in front of the TV for a bit. You've just got to wind down a little, yeah. haven't you? Right, this is looking good. Yeah, the sponges are a standard Victoria sponge recipe. Absolutely right, they're not Madeira. What was in the white bags again? Nikki, what white bags? So, uh, and then um, somebody else has asked a question here. White bags? Yeah, I can't remember. Do you mean what we got at the demo day? No, the whipping it up was in a, white, in a brown bag today. The plant, ba the plant butter you can buy from any supermarkets. Lots of people have said that. Um, Karen Neal has asked, can you whiten with whitener, then add colour? Will it bleach the colour? I would personally only whiten with whitener if you want, if you want white. Or um, if you want a blow sometimes. Yeah, just to stop it going green. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's all. I wouldn't whiten it with whitener. I would whip the butter till it's really light and the lightest colour you can get it before. Look at look at this. This has got no whitener in it, and this has been whipped. It's lovely and light. And then add your colour. But I do agree. If you add um, blue to it, it can make it go green. So maybe add whitener for that. Okay. So should we chill this for a little bit then? We Let's should. Get on yeah. The next one. I think you've got room in that fridge down there, by you. Fine. This one, first one here. Yeah. No, you no, your big one further on. This next one. one. Yeah. Next one. <laughs> Did you not know that fridge was there? I did, but like, all the covers look the same, so it's very confusing. <laughs> I can never remember which one it is. So, um, ah, so Karen, right, the flavour was, what was in the white bags again, Karen? Yeah, that's that Nikki King winding us up. Right, so Mal uh, X Newman is lying in a caravan watching it in between the thunder and lightning. Nice. Mm. I saw some beautiful lightning on the way here, to be honest. Yeah. Coming up the M6. Um, would you put a dowel in a tall cake like that so it doesn't move? Yeah, can do. You can do. Just one. You didn't. If you wanna. Yeah. You can do. Yeah, but if you set it in the fridge, it'll be fine. I think that's what a lot of people do is they end up putting a crumb coat on, crumb coat it around and continually decorate the cake, whereas when you put it in the fridge, that does firm it up. Yeah, absolutely. Where have I put my cloth? There it is. Okay, so let's get the next one set up and ready. This one will be Swiss meringue buttercream. So I'll just get that there at the ready. I don't think I'm going to tort these actually. I think I'm just going to level them a little bit. And we'll have just have a slightly shorter cake for this yeah. one. So that one can be, the tall one can be, oh no, because I'm using those colours for strip. Oh, we'll tort them. What does tort mean? We need to cut them in half. Oh, right. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, do you work with frozen cakes, Claire? Yes. Yeah. yeah frozen not... cakes are easier to work with, yeah. to be fair. I did nearly lose a finger trying to carve a handbag once than a frozen cake. I should have waited a bit longer, but I was really impatient. Well, that's me. I've got the cakes out the freezer the other day, just before the live, trying to cut them in half. I they must have. I forgot to tell them they were frozen cakes. They must have thought I had rock hard cake. <laughs> but I think it was so scatty. I was so scatty on Monday morning. I didn't even think to tell them that the cakes were frozen. You've had lots to do this week, haven't you? And then I suppose it's not helping me throw in an extra live in tonight. I don't mind. We always like having you in the kitchen. And now that I've seen Simon grovel, it's the only reason I think you're happy for me to come, wasn't it? <laughs> Made him pay for me. Always like you here. I'm just going to level this a little bit. So Lynn Woodward, I can answer that question for you. Colour Mill has a teal colour. Fractal has a, has a menthol colour that's quite, that's teal colour looking. And Colour Splash has um, turquoise. turquoise, that's it. I know this because <laughs> I typed yeah. the wrong thing the other day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing it on the cling film? I'm doing it on the cling film because I don't want to make a mess on the board. Ah. It would be easier to not do it on the cling film. I was going to say, you may as well because there's going to be enough mess everywhere. 
I mean, you're getting pretty tidy so far. I don't know what mine if I just eat a bit of that. No, but I'll have a bit with you. There you go. I said a bit. Why have you only got a bit and I got a full slice? Well, I've got the other two. You don't have to eat it all. Well, the thing is, it's so nice, I will. I can't help it, can I? Mm-mm-mm. Do you like it? a bit. See, I don't actually like cake at all. I was, um, I was laughing with Claire before because she's lost a stone and I've lost a stone. And we were both discussing and she said, I just can't get past this stone. I said, no, neither can I. I wonder why. Because I'm a bit of cake. <laughs> Definitely got the whole packet of Jaffa cakes I ate earlier. It's not because of that at all. <laughs> Simon questioned my calories earlier. Like he wasn't in enough trouble already. <laughs> Oh, what are you saying I've done now? <laughs> um, the size of sponges we've used today is five inches. So much easier. Off the clean So, pill. Kim Tillin is saying, Hi, Karen Claire. <gasps> Sorry to be a Thank dummy. You. Sorry to be a dummy. Can I use Whipping It Up Swiss Round Buttercream with my nifty nozzles? You can but it's difficult. So if you are used to using your whippy, no whippy nozzle, nifty nozzles, you can, and I've had um, some success with them, and it's actually nicer with them, because it gives a more tulip effect, but then, then they don't show everything. I, I need to do a live on it, if I'm really honest. There we go. Have another look on it. Really I hope you're okay, Helen Miles. Who says, I'm grateful the extra live as I need some distraction today, so I hope all is well. Well, you're okay, Helen. Well, I hope all is well soon. Mm. Antonia Regan, I hope you're feeling better. She says, I love the lives. Okay, SNBC. And this is the best live yet because of Simon's groveling. Not your, you it. not your fantastic cake skills. <laughs> it was my skills in making him grovel, grovel, though. I'm an all-rounder. I'm not just limiting myself to cake decorating. <laughs> and Tracy Scrivens, um, because I went on a diet, she um, felt motivated. And I have to say, she's lost 20 pounds in weight, which is amazing. Albeit, I'm extremely jealous. I think you've done amazing, that is amazing, but it's just irritated me a little bit, uh -huh. <laughs> because I just can't get past this stone. But well done, how have you done that? Give us some tips, but if not, if it means not eating Jaffa cakes, then I'm not interested. Lisa Booth says I inspired her, she lost nearly a stone. You know what, if you just lost a bit, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. You can now eat as much cake as you want, put it back on again and lose it again. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying to Carol before that I've got one, I bought one of those hula hoops that she's got. Can I get it going? No, not at all. I don't think I've got the, the pelvic motion correct yet. But we'll keep practising. See how we go, but my husband was laughing at me. Said I look like a right idiot. <laughs> and he's probably right. But you've got to give it a go, haven't you? Or else yeah. you won't... There's anything. You're very quiet, Simon. What's up with you? Well, he's oh, getting no. over the fact that he's had to grovel. He he's worrying. Know. I think he's secretly worrying about what he's going to do when Jerry's back. <laughs> or when Kim no, comes no, next no. time. Because he just denounced them live. Well, let's have to live with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's worrying them that much, will it? Do you not think they're bothered? Well, no. doesn't, that, doesn't Hannah, um, Rachel Anna become one of your favourites as well? Haven't you said it to her? I didn't know you're that. right, Floozy, aren't you? Yeah. You're, you're a right troublemaker, you yeah. are. I'm sure you say it to all the girls. That's what I said. Says it to all the girls. But he's assured me this time that he won't let it happen again, so we'll see, huh? Everybody's heard it now, it's, you know, it's, it's done with. Yeah, there's no going back. Yeah, it's done with. It can... <laughs> you started it though, Simon. It was you that started this, so, you know. 
The knife that Claire is using is a very old knife of mine. It's from Nordic Wear and you can't get them anymore. Um, it's a great knife. I normally use the PME ones, but Claire just oh, shut down the sorry, yeah, shut no, down no, the thing there yeah. and got out the Nordic Wear one. It's exactly got. the same but as the I've PME had it, one. Like. I've got to say, I've had it for about... I reckon I've had it about six years and I did sell loads to lots of lovely ladies when I did a Facebook Live when I had them, but we can't get any more now. So I now sell the PME ones, which are equally as good. It's practically identical, isn't it, really, the PME one? Not much difference there. I didn't even notice the red handle when I picked it up, to be honest. I just looked at the edge on it. <laughs> so Ch Chantelle McDonald has been streaming old Facebook Lives all week. Fantastic. Crazy. <laughs> and we would love it if you all went over to our YouTube channel. I know that you like watching on the Facebook Lives because you like joining in the banter, but it would be great if you um, subscribe to our YouTube channel because if you did, that means it doesn't cost you any money, so there's no subscription fees or anything like that. If you did, it means you get notifications as well. So when lots of you ask for a past live, how do I find it? It's much easier to go and find it on the YouTube channel because on our channel you can just put a search in and then you can find it much easier so I'd be very grateful if you all popped over there and did that and I found I was watch, I was just going through YouTube the other day looking for something and I didn't realize what day or time it was and then up helped sugar and crumbs <laughs> live good, and I was like, ah. Ah, good so did you watch on YouTube yeah I watched a bit of it but then I had to get on with what oh. I was originally doing so. <laughs> I was looking for something for Edie, to be honest. She's obsessed with the alphabet. Who is? Edie. I wish she, that's good, isn't it? She loves it. She can't get enough alphabet. Yeah. So when, um, counting to 100, that's another one of the favourites. Yeah. Oh, that's favorite. great. So, I need to get the songs on. Because it really encourages her as well. Yeah. The songs, song. do, they're really, really... That's how I used, to, I used to teach my children to count as well. Mm. Uh, Carol Gattenby said she's been looking after her auntie and she's been catching on, up on the lives. The um... And everyone seems to have got stuck at a stone. Yeah. But uh, Debbie Cottrell, who's going to be, I think it's Debbie, who's going to be doing our live on Saturday. After all the chocolate samples at that she ate at the weekend, she still lost a pound. Nice. Which is good, isn't it? I feel like she's showing off a bit now, but yeah, all right. <laughs> that is good. That is good, to be fair. I just find, don't you find that it goes up and down by like a pound, two pounds right. every day? I can't get past it. Like it just sort of yeah. floats around, yeah. but you stay it. But I must admit, I'm actually that. not hel helping it either. Don't mm. weigh yourself every day. Eh? I don't, I've stopped weighing myself. I've actually stopped weighing myself for two weeks now because I just thought I, I'm fixated on the fact of this. So I'm saying to John, well, I'm back to a stone again. Just, I've just put on two pounds. I'm back to a stone again. And yeah. uh, I've just thought, do you know what? I need to just come off it, have a little break. Sometimes you just need to forget about it for a little yeah. bit, don't you? And a glass of water's a pound. This is it. This is, actually, uh, yeah. to be honest, that is why I weigh myself every day. It's so I can go, oh, yeah. Because if I just did it once a week and I'd put two pounds on and it turned out it was just water because the next day those two pounds had gone, I'd be really annoyed. <laughs> You know, so if you can see it going up and down every day, it actually keeps me more motivated. So Maureen McNama says, it's great to wake up to your live on a very cold morning. Where are you, Maureen? So May James says, I was going to use the whipping ale for practicing on my cupcake moulds. So I think what we'll do is we'll have a little we'll have a little session on it with whipping it up um, on the little cupcake mold dummies that you've got um, with the nifty nozzles. So we'll have a little play, and I'll have a little play on Tuesday for those ladies who are in buttercream flowers um, because I'll be using Swiss meringue buttercream in that session. Um, so I'll get the nifty nozzles out as well. Uh, Leslie Green says she thought Jaffa Cakes were low fat. They definitely are. Definitely. I won't have anyone say otherwise. Uh, 
It's just the, the volume that I can get through. It just seems like nothing to eat two Jaffa cakes when there's a whole packet there giving you the eyeball. And Mandy Harvey says, Jaffa cakes are one of your five a day with the orange sensor. Of course. <laughs> and Teresa Tyler Smith lost nine stone a few years ago. Yeah. Then she got ill and all the medications helped her put it all back on. Mm. Mm, that's not good. You'll have to let us know what you did to lose nine stone. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, because I'm after losing seven stone. So, I might have to lose in seven stone. Five stone plus two, yeah, seven stone. I want to lose two more. That would be lovely if I could just lose two more. If I could lose one more, you know, I'd be delighted if I wasn't just stuck here the one stone mark. Right, let's fridge this one. So I know you're all losing weight but we must remember we've got to keep sugar and crumbs in business so still keep decorating cake. Yeah, just make other people <laughs> to do it. Yeah. yeah, just keep making cakes for everybody else. So this is our first one back again. Actually, I'm going to leave that in the fridge while I do that black buttercream. Forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, Susan Hannum Nee Norman said, I was doing really well with my weight loss till I made Laura's strawberry tray bake. I've got to be honest, Laura's strawberry tray bake was amazing, but I didn't taste any. I could smell it, I looked at it and I thought- It looks really good. I've got to be honest, I thought if I, cause it's got the cheese in it as well. I thought if mm. I taste that, I am just not going to stop eating it. It did look beautiful. And Tracy Scriven there is doing the three, two, one diet. So she's oh, yeah. lost, she's lost, um, how much did she say she lost before? Anyhow, she's lost 30 inches. Stop bragging, will you? We're inches. out of stone. She's fucking heck. That's amazing. Debbie Argrave says, I blame my meds too. It's probably nothing to do with them, but I'm blaming them. <laughs> right, guys, I have uh, regular buttercream here. And we are going to make that. Let me just clean up. We're going to make that black buttercream. Thank you, Tracy, for subscribing to Sugar and Crumbs YouTube channel. So, ladies, I'd be really grateful if you did all subscribe. Um, don't do it now. I'll remind you at the end of the live, but it's steady easy. You just go along, you put your email address in, and you join. And all it means then is, is that you get notifications of when we're live on there, which means you can then have it up on your big TV screen. Um, so and that's what a lot of ladies um, do here. They're watching, they're commenting on their phone, and they're watching on their big screen. That is the bonus, isn't it? Because you can just yeah. drive it onto the TV. Yeah. Right, oh, here we go. So, regular buttercream and fractal black. And I'm just going to pop a squidge in. That's the technical squidge. And see how we go with that. So, I'm just making a small amount because I need the white buttercream. So Antonia Regan says, I've watched all the old ones because I am quite a newbie. It's so, it's so different. We have come such, you have come such a, you have come such, I think she means to say long way. She said far away, such a far way. Well done. I think you mean such a long way. Yes, we've changed since we, we started off in this kitchen, but down the other end. Because this room here was where I, where I had all my china collection. So we were down the other end of the kitchen and then we moved into my house kitchen and then we moved back in here. And we've got better camera, we had better, better camera mm. situations. It used to be just John walking around with an iPad. And, those uh, were the days. Those were the days. You've done many sessions with John just doing that, following uh -huh. you around, haven't you? Yeah, many. And then we moved to another system, which was quite good. And then we got Simon in last year, and he set us up and made us look all professional. He's his made eye. the world a difference, haven't you, love? I have. have he has. And I have to give Simon all the credit because he has set everything up. He even moved all the units under the kitchen here so that where Claire stood, the units were 
right to the front and you move them back so that you can put your if, if you want to sit down mm. you can sit down so you can get your knees in yeah that's it he's a good egg really i know i give him some stick <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes he's a proper smarty pants but he's yeah. all right really and he's just put up the new lights down the other end of the kitchen so when we're down there baking we can be down there and he's just mm. set up a little studio in the office next door for us the good boy and when we get his head out of the kitchen we're bringing him around on the camera so we can say thank you to him <laughs> his head calms down right here we go so i've got gray buttercream now um, and i'm going to leave that and just watch that develop um i think that will be black by the end of the session yeah. if not we can always add a little touch more but i think that will be black so we're just going to leave that to the side it's not that pale right now is it no looking at the screen so we'll just pop that there and we'll come back to that later oh i've got my bald spot on then sorry I know, sorry I'll everyone I'm gonna stick my head in bald spot simon yeah, told me that because i was his favorite he wouldn't show anyone my bald spot <laughs> you, you were too sweaty didn't you <laughs> well, you're lucky you've got don't one bald fast. spot i've got loads <laughs> I hate it when the side of my hair comes down and then you just see it there. It's so. like, but it's not really, nobody else notices. It's just, I think it's mainly it's just you. us, isn't it? Yeah, I notice it. I don't right. notice yours, I notice mine. It's not that bad, it's just like, it's just I baby think also hair. the lights are on it as well, yeah. make shine on it. Makes your sure. scalp really yeah. bright. <laughs> Sounds delightful. <laughs> right, should we colour up our Swiss meringue then? We should. Let's do that. So we only need a little bit of each, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six colours. One, two, three, four, five, and five bowls. Oh, because you used it for the black. So Maury McNama, when she wakes up to us, it's because she's in Christchurch, New Zealand. So that's oh, wow. nice, isn't it? How did you get to know about us, Maureen, then? You'll be looking forward to when we can get flavour shots out, won't you, I should imagine, if you want to try our products. I can't wait to give them a try. And Geraldine Allen says, I don't know, understand how you all ladies are stuck at a stone. I lost a stone and put half back on again. Problem solved, not stuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a great way of thinking about it, yeah. And Helen Williams' favourite past live is Richard. We shouldn't talk about Richard. We do have him in the kitchen here. He's our little mascot. He's hid behind the whipping it up over there at the moment. Got a couple of little mascots over there. Can you see them? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's like, for me now, when I think about how it used to be, it just seems so, such distant past. Because things have changed so much. Right, so Kit Curran says, Carol, I am changing the subject, sorry, but have you ever made a mirror glaze? I want to try it, but don't know how. I personally haven't done it. We did have a fantastic lady do it in the kitchen um, some time ago. So if you go to our YouTube channel and search mirror glaze um, in the channel, it should come up there. And to be fair, it's good that, because really I'd like to do it on a cheesecake, a mirror glaze. Mm. So, um, I've got a load of things to do, but uh, you know what, sometimes, because I'm sort of running here and I'm winging it going live, I'm winging it going live, I forget some of the things that I said I'll do, so I'll just make a little note of that. And when Karen comes back, I'll get her to make me a cheesecake. Not that I can't make one, but I'll make one <laughs> and do it. <laughs> the beautiful aren't they, the Miracle Ace cake? Yeah. Okay, so I've just added in the Colour Mill blush for my first colour stripe. That is gorgeous. Which one's that? The blush, the blush. yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Really nice. Love that. Okay, to the side. Next we'll go with a Latte. Oh, didn't shake it, didn't shake it. What a wally. There we go. What happened when you didn't shake it? I wasn't looking. Oh, it's just oil comes out. Oh, was it just the oil? Yeah, area? it's just where it's separated inside. 
But it's good that they see that because there'll be a lot of ladies who probably don't shake it. Yeah, you'd, it's, I shook the big one and then forgot to shake the little one. So I've only put a little bit of latte in there, but I really like that colour, especially next to the blush. And that's lovely and it'll stand out enough yeah. against the white. That's really nice. Um, ladies who are coming to the demonstration day, if you want to pick up your order, please make sure you place it before half past one on Friday and then you can pick up any orders and then on the day anything you want to purchase you just purchase it as normal and we will ship it out on the Monday for you. Uh, Tracy Scriven says can you say hi to my granddaughter Brooklyn. Hi Brooklyn. Uh, hi Brooklyn. And how old is Brooklyn? And Lorraine Pike says, Jaffa cakes are low fat, but not if you eat a whole packet. That's where we're going wrong, Claire. All right. <laughs> I think I've preferred my answer about it. It was perfectly fine, but cheers. Oh, Denise Wilkinson says, if you up your eating for a week, then go back to the diet, it should start your weight yeah. loss again. I've heard that before, actually. Yeah, but then it's hard once you've done it. Well, it's, hard. It, it's hard to knuckle down. Again, exactly. That's where I, that's where I am. Did you do that? You went on holiday. Yeah, I went on holiday. I can't get back to normal. <laughs> so you went on holiday, up to eating. Yeah. So it didn't work. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I was dead good on holiday because I didn't eat any rubbish, but since I got home, I've had loads of rubbish. <laughs> it's, yeah. I had the chippy last week mm. with gravy. Uh, Pull mill rust, this one is, and I think that's probably. Look at that next to that as well. Well, John that's went to Ireland. Together. John went to Ireland last week, and I don't know how many McDonald's or Kentucky Fried Chickens I had to have. He loves it, doesn't he? Oh no, well, John wasn't here. I thought yeah, you John wasn't here. Together, John yeah. does all the cooking, doesn't he? Of course. And then he went, and I, I didn't. I, I, I couldn't cook. <laughs> so, I only cooked one meal for myself. So we had. Um, just don't do it because you don't like cooking, or just because he prefers. No, I love cooking, but I cook traditional food. Right. So I like make told and whole cottage pie stew. Yeah, yeah. Roast dinner. I, I make a, a fantastic roast dinner. Mm. But John makes all fancy food, and when he puts it on the plate, it's all decorated up like chef food. It makes it look really good. Right, got you. Yeah, and he, it's hard to go back, isn't it? <laughs> well, he <laughs> just prefers to like do that it for you. And we have too many clay, arguments the in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Colour milk clay. Oh, Debbie Cottrell yeah. says that she lost six stones. Six stones. She was in the Swimming World magazine, went on a photo shoot in London, then got pregnant, and here she is again. <laughs> Children's That's ruining, what happens. don't they? Yeah. So Bridget is asking how far off Stoke are we? So From Stoke, 45 minutes. We are. Yeah, I live near Stoke, well, kind we of. We are in South yeah. Manchester, which is about 50 miles from Stoke. It takes me about 35 minutes to get here from Sandbach. I was going to say, I would say 45 minutes from Stoke. It's halfway because to Birmingham it's an hour and a half, and that's 90 miles. So... Yeah. It, it depends which route you take. It's on a bad day, it'd it's probably possible. take you an hour yeah. to get from Stoke. Mm -hmm. I suppose it depends where in Stoke. Stoke's pretty big, isn't it? Uh, so, Kerry Hudson says, Can I brush on luster dust onto the icing, only onto sugar paste? You can only brush it on. So you can spray it on if you want to by using the manual airbrush, the hobby core, but you can't brush it on. You can paint if Mustard. you want to paint little Mustard. bits. What is it? Show us again. Mustard. Carol, I'll give all my cakes to my friends and then I will look skinny. That's right. Yeah, fighting everybody else up. We'll love that. That is 
gorgeous as well. So oh, Sheila nice. Harvey, I need to come back and have a look at that one. I didn't, I didn't know that you could actually pipe biscuit dough. So the only biscuit dough um, I would pipe is for the um, Viennese, I call them, are they called Viennese, Viennese swirls? swirls. Yeah. I think I call them Viennese swirls, but anyhow. Um, but even then it's incredibly hard. Hurt shams. Oh, here we go. Last one's there. Sorry, I meant you use whipping it up for icing. So use them whipping it up for icing. Oh, icing, I don't know what you mean. Icing. I don't actually know what you mean. Do you mean making buttercream, normal buttercream? Does she mean can you put? No, icing on top of biscuits. Oh, royal icing. Right, there, yeah, finally, ding, got it. Right. Yes. <laughs> Um, if you want to use whipping it up for bis for um, uh, your biscuits, yes, it's 500 grams of whipping it up, and I think it's seven, what do you use? It's normally 35 mils for 250 grams. Isn't it? Bag, yeah. or is it? I use between 70 and 80. Yeah. I just basically it's better to sort of eyeball that. Yeah, I would add just a small amount, probably start off about 30, 40 grams of water and then just trickle it in and then loosen up what you need. Divide it, loosen it up. Mm -hmm. So divide it, colour it all, loosen it up. Don't those chains look really pretty there? Aren't they sparkling in the background? Just where, where can you see them there? It looks like a load of jewellery there, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Really pretty. Can you see them, Simon? No. Oh. I can't. When I look oh, but you didn't have them on the camera. I can't see them on the camera. It's the too oh, far right. away. It's too small. Right. Well, we've got a nice audience over so three hundred people watching. Wow. I've already made buttercream yet. Yeah. Wait for the magic <laughs> to happen. Okay. Right. Carol, would you do me a favour and put these in bags? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Of course, I will. Yeah. So, Thank Karen Naylor, what was the name of the lady that did the mirror glaze? I think she was called Francesca. Italian lady, I can't remember her surname. Right, um, do you want nozzles in the bags? Oh, it's easy. Uh, no, they're fine, thank you. No nozzles for those. But I could do with some nozzles, some big nozzles for later. Right. Okay. Big star Let's nozzles. Please. That's fine. Just get rid of these out of the way, give Carol a bit of space. reasonably quickly because if I do I might be able to do a bit more. Oh, that's dangerous doing that, isn't it? <laughs> you know me. Have I even been here if I get home on time? Up the comments, let's just see. Okay, so this is our regular buttercream, nice and firm. Oh, sorry, ladies, I'm going to move on. I probably missed out about 200 comments there. I was behind, <laughs> anyhow. Oh, that's nice. Diana Dench says, Well, Carol, you definitely look as though you've lost a bit of weight. You do, you can definitely tell. Frank, there you go, Margot Cook's got it, Fran, Francesca Falbo, and she, she was, was a fantastic lady when she came in and did her live, so um, yes, yeah, so that's on our YouTube channel, well done Margot, how did you find that, did you remember or did you find it?
So what, what colours are you going to put in these? You're going to do this and then stripes in between them with these colours? Nope. Oh, okay now. <laughs> not a stripe you on this one, Carol. Oh, is it not? No. Okay. What's this one then? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah. Oh yeah, so it's going to be the one that's like um, the scraper that's like a zigzag. Oh, you're going to use that one now? that one, yeah. Ah, oh, fantastic, lovely. Well, you can get them in the set, don't you? So yeah. you want to... Know how to use them. You want them. to see a few. I mean, there's no reason this wouldn't work for rainbow. But we're using off. these colours, you see, right. so I they would stand do out as much on the black. Yeah. You would want to do your really bright colours yeah. on a black cake. I'll tell you, when I see a black cake, what I want to do is put the colour underneath. You know when you put different colours underneath? Then you do black over it and then you cut... You cut your flowers out with your little thing. Do you know what I mean? Yes. That little tool, it's like a little hook Yeah, tool. so it's like doing... Um... I don't know what they call it. So what you do is you put splodges of all colours over, don't you? Mm -hmm. Then you cover the whole thing yeah. black. Like scrape colour away. Yes. Like you do one of those balls. Yeah, like with those magic, right. those yeah. magic... You like uh... make it school. Yeah. Where you crane all over That's it. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm surprised we you sold remember this. that long ago, Simon. <laughs> He's younger than me, he needs to remember it. Um, <laughs> that was accidental. <laughs> I do apologise, Carol. I know I look younger. You look much younger than Simon. No offence, Simon. Offense You're a very Simon. handsome man. <laughs> what was Claire? Crikey. You've worked hard to be his favourite, haven't you? I have. Well, yeah, this is the kind of thing you have to say if you want to stay at the top, girls. So basically, I'm just slapping loads on right now. Ah, we've got the full name there. Francesca Falbo Santon Sahonta. I don't know if I've pronounced I've definitely not pronounced that right. Do you want to see if you can pronounce that, Simon? Look at uh, Dina's comment there. Do you want to go with it? Francesca Falbo Sahonta. Well, you got it better than me. Mm hmm. She's watching. Is she? Hey, Francesca. Nice to be remembered. She works for the police now. Not many cakes anymore. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, Francesca, was you watching anyhow? Or did somebody tag you in? Right, we need to get you back for that mirror cake. Never mind working for the police force. Come back up here it to sugar me, and crumbs. Yeah. <laughs> did someone tag you in, Francesca? Or did you, um, or was you watching anyway? This is just normal buttercream, isn't it, Claire? It certainly is. Straight mm, bottom. I'm just going to use the side of one of these metal scrapers, Karen, the straight side, because I don't want to get my acrylic one. Pardon? I don't want to get my acrylic one mocky with the black, so I'm just going to use this metal one, <laughs> the straight side of it, for now, just to do this quickly. So it's got a really nice thick coating on there. I'm just going to smooth it out a little just so I can see if anywhere needs more. Does the black colour stain your tongue? Probably if you eat lots of it. Yeah, it does. Um, Helen John, no I'm not rustling. I am filling piping bags for Claire. You must have missed that. Claire asked me, I'm not actually eating anything. I'm not eating anything either. So apart from that bit of cake that she gave me before. We did have that bit of cake. But, uh, not, but the rustling good. is the piping bags. I'm on my fourth one. Now two more to go. I tell you, they don't miss a trick here, do they? Crikey. Need you a lot in my house watching me. 
Right, that's looking okay. Oh, wish I could get my cake so smooth. You just do it with such ease. That's just the rough draft. <laughs> the rough draft, stop bragging. <laughs> I just love being smug sometimes. I enjoy it. <laughs> Not often. I can be smug, so when I can, I enjoy it. A bit more in some places where I've got a few pulls. Oh, Carol Littlewood. Simon's very handsome. I I'm know. Fan. I think, and I can't remember her name, but there's somebody that watches every week religiously, and I think she really fancies Simon. I can feel my jealousy building up while she's talking, so I'm, I'm pretty sure there's somebody in the audience that's got a bit of a thing for it. A bit him. of a crush for Simon, oh, yeah, there? Definitely. Oh, God. Um, Andrea Lucas said, how thick do you need to put the buttercream on? You do want it to be quite thick, so you're talking probably just over a centimetre in thickness. And Should well we done, say? and Francesca says, well done on saying the name, it's close enough, and oh. yes, someone tagged her in. Now, I don't know whether that was me or you, Simon. I would think it was probably you. We weren't that different. Were we not? Well, that was good that somebody tagged you in. Well done, whoever that was. Is it vegan to do, is it, is it vegan? Is it possible to do a vegan glaze without gelatine? Francesca, we're sending that one over to you. And the Murray Glaze cake is also in the recipes on our recipe website um, on Sugar and Crumbs, which is sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.com by Francesca, says Christine Sands. And yes, it is there. And Kit Curran says, you're all talking about diets. I've just had a bit of chocolate cake with double cream and chip black cherry icing sprinkled on the top. It was mm. lovely. <laughs> and they're saying now that is what you call black. It just More looks so shiny, doesn't it? They're saying the cake looks amazing. And Kim Tillin says, Carol, you are lovely as you are. Yes, but I'd like to be half of me. Kim's a real sweetie. She is a sweetie. Well, the good thing is, Karen Griffiths is away on holiday this week, so I'm not eating any of her treats in the kitchen. Yeah, it'd be hellish having Karen around all the time, wouldn't it? Yeah, because she's always making something. And then, what happens is, I stay out of the kitchen, and India and Terry come in, and they go, oh, have you tasted it? I go, no. Oh, you need to taste it. <laughs> Shut up. That hair. It's all right when you look like those two, isn't it? Exactly. It doesn't help when I came in last week and scoffed five macarons one after each other. Right, I've got five colours here, is that right? One, two, three, four, five. Oops. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. God, that took me a long time to back that fifth colour. Oh. Right, Vanessa Woods. I did a black cake when I worked in school. It ended up with 32 little girls in panic as their poo turned green. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> And Francesca says you can use agar 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 or agar agar, I think, but might not get the same shine. And I don't know the ratio to be honest. Never done a vegan. Usually, but it's definitely with possible. agar, it's the same ratio, you know. Is it for most things? Worth giving a try. And Viv Cardar says Claire Spill. Who is it? Can't remember. Can't remember who it is. And stalks her profile though. She looks quite fit. You could be in there, Simon. Uh, Simon has, um, I think it was purple, it's now blue, with matching glasses, they're black yeah. glasses. Well, he's actually all colour coordinated tonight, I'll get him in the camera, he's got a blue top on, he's got black glasses on but they look blue. Yeah. With everything he's a sight to be they are blue, tonight, are Simon. They are blue, aren't they? Uh -huh. Are you going to come and say hello to the ladies, seeing as you've got a fan? Fan. Big fan base. One, one, yeah. fan. one fan, yeah. You may as well come and say hello to her, aren't you? Who's the fan? I can't remember. I, I was that shocked. <laughs> 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 go, back. <laughs> go back. Go back and find out uh, who your fan is. Have we got any more fans for Simon? Right. That 
much will do us for now. I'm just going to pop this in the fridge. For that looks fantastic, only Claire. A few mins, okay. Can anyone remember who Simon's fan is? Kitchen roll, kitchen roll. Right, I'm going to move the comments on and then hopefully um, it will come back. Everybody will tell me. <clears throat> yeah, you've got a, you've got one fan in, in amongst 333 viewers. <laughs> wow. I'm not sure I have to take that. Is Simon bashful after Claire mentions someone fancies you? <laughs> If Simon, Simon Bashful, cool if Simon Bashful, he's very quiet tonight, isn't he? He's very quiet tonight. I'm wondering why. Debbie Avery says, after seeing myself on the screen at the demo day, I'm wearing black this Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> and Sheila Harvey says, talking of diets, when I made my shortbread earlier, I ate six bits and then another two with a cup of. I know that's the problem, isn't it? Easy to do. You've got to learn to just give it away. So easy to do. And Andrea Gunnell says, My John says he loves my rolls. I'm not sure how to take that. And that cake looks banging. Banging. What's <laughs> that? Oh, Sharon Carpenter, malted milk biscuits. I remember when I was a young girl with very young babies, I, I never got time to make myself dinner and I would eat a full packet of malted milk biscuits. They're easy to go through as They're well. They're very... And nice biscuits. I think nice or nice. I call them nice. Yeah. I used to put eat a packet of them. I think that's why we all put on weight when we've had a baby. We say it's you having a have, baby. You're it's because you don't, you don't have the time to do anything. <laughs> you're too tired to cook anything. Angela, Bra Angela Bradbury said, Is Simon single, intelligent and good with a ruler? Interesting. <laughs> it's a no <laughs> to all of those, I'm afraid. <laughs> no, he is intelligent. Oh, he's not single and he's no good with a ruler because I can eyeball better than his ruler. It's, he's actually better than me when it comes to that. But <laughs> You're not single. Should I, tell him, should, I t should I not tell him you've got a girlfriend, Simon? They know. Should you not tell him? He yeah, was on about from him. that time he was <laughs> typically necking. We all know already. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He told everybody he was necking once he yeah. Necking. Necking in, in Timperley. The Where was he necking? Timperley. Timperley, yes, when you went to Timperley. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Who goes to Timperley? Who goes necking in Timperley? Timperley. <laughs> For walk. That's what you call it. And, and does, Sue, does, does Sue Mary said, does Simon's fan want to reveal themselves? He might not now, isn't it? She might not want to now. She knows he goes necking in Timberley. <laughs> He'll take you to all the best places. I went for a walk. Why would you go for a walk in Timberley? <laughs> <laughs> that to you. Absolutely <laughs> baffling. There's no countryside in Timberley, is there? Where did you go? Is there a park there that you went to? Have you not been Just walk there? up the metro line. I don't know. <laughs> walk up the metro line. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Poor Simon. <laughs> oh dear. I guess I really Ross stuck now, he's not he's not joining in, is he? He's not falling me now. He's not falling for it, is he? Well he's just, he might have lost his one fan. Have we got any other fans for Simon? I'm his biggest fan. Just look. Definitely his biggest fan. I got to laugh at um, Breed Arnold. She put a post on yesterday. Oh, the lady who was kicking off yesterday, and um, oh, this was another post. Breed Arnold was talking about Nicholas Lodge, and she called him Nicholas Cage about three times. Oh my God! Yeah, I saw <laughs> that. I was happy about that one. I quite happily have Nicholas Cage in the kitchen. You think he'd come and do it? <laughs> yeah. He'd be questioning his choice, career choices then, wouldn't he? And the lady who kicked off for some reason, no idea what was upset with her. She let... I think that was a misunderstanding. The way, it wasn't the way I read it. What, I think the there thing... was a misunderstanding there. Do you think? No, she didn't. You sure? Yeah. No, because she put a sick smiley face. She put a sick face, didn't she? And then I, I asked her if we'd upset her. 
And then oh, she I might said be talking about the wrong thing. Oh know. yeah. No, she put a six six face, so I left it for an hour. Then I asked her if we'd upset her and then she said she couldn't stand all the arse lickers and the and the cool full of us at Sugar and Crumbs. Oh, and wow. everybody jumped in. And well, then, then yeah, I'm talking about the wrong right. thing, I didn't see that. Anyway, in the end I've had to let her go out of the group because she said she was enjoying she was enjoying all the comments to because I said, Look, you're being rude now. Oh, so it was just so she's just a, a just troll. being nasty, yeah. So and then she went on Trust Pilot and started on there. <gasps> she did not. <laughs> well, you've got plenty of time on your hands if you do yeah, that, haven't exactly. you, please? Uh, depends what he wants the ruler for. Ooh. Hmm. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Because that lot don't need any encouragement. Lisa, Lisa Wood said, what's necking? Oh, Lisa, come on. <laughs> it's not a word we use anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to be honest. I, haven't, I, haven't, I only heard that word of you. Necking. <laughs> I've got to be an old-fashioned girl and call it kissing. <laughs> snogging. <laughs> snogging. She's a snog. Snogging up simply. Yeah. <laughs> Holding hands, yeah. Yeah, who goes snogging in simply? <laughs> Simon. <laughs> Making it up. Liz Mosley said it's Jill Cook, she's the fan. <laughs> Jill Cook. She's the one who talks to him on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> I see now, because she gets his undivided attention over on YouTube. Exactly. I see what's going on. Right, we are not far off. I am. I'm not sure whether that's going on in Timperley or not. Looking at what's missed here. Oh, I don't know. Something to do with dogs. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for the out there. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm not sure what she's talking about. Oh, oh wow. Oh well, uh, I can't. Kirsty oh. Cummins says everyone's good. Kirsty Cummins says everyone's gutted. He's not single. Aww. Sue Melly said we all love Simon. Do we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't say yeah yourself. That's not going to make more people love you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Deborah Wynn says she loves Simon. Debbie. Oh. Good, they're getting some support now. It's Debbie, you're supposed yeah. to love me, you're my friend. Simon's friend. I've known Debbie for a few years now, quite a few years now. She's an absolute darling. Oh, do you know Debbie, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Well, she's a fan of Simon's. She's a bigger fan of mine, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Matthew Corbett. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He only came on to ask if you wanted Domino's for tea, but this live feed has just got brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Are you off to Timberley then with Simon? <laughs> Keep your hands off him, he's nice. Okay. Matthew Corbett is nice. I know. Well, I think he's quite, interested in, I think he's quite interested in the dog conversation, Claire. You might be in trouble when you get home. Don't want dominoes for my tea. <laughs> yeah. No, I've mean, not been listening. We're all trying to lose weight. Yes, I want dominoes for my tea. Yes, please. For your tea today? <laughs> yeah. When is it when you get home? Oh, it's nice. cold. Hey, do you, would you eat that late? I can't eat that late. I can't eat after seven o'clock, really. I struggle. Well, this is why I'm I a big fat fatty, it's because I can eat at any time. I went out with Viv Goddard on Friday night and our meal didn't arrive till it's quarter past nine. I was <sighs> dying. I ate it because I was so hungry. Yeah, I'd be, I would but it's be just not good for me. It's called winching in Glasgow. Ooh, <laughs> says Linda. Winching. What is? No, and Louise Williams says she thought this was a cake demo, demo but it seems more like Fifty Shades. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Oh, my husband's like in the conversation, guys. I'm in so much trouble. Andy Gunnell, tonsil tennis, she calls it. Tonsil tennis? No, that's that's something that my mum says actually. Tonsil Sue tennis. Mary says she's never been to Timberley, but is it worth a visit? I think we need to get back on track, <laughs> don't we? 
Tipperley could now be the new hotspot. We haven't we haven't really understood why, but so Simon has started it, something. Because we, we, you know. I said necking. The dogs came in from somebody else. That was nothing to do with me. I want no part of that. And Pixie no. Handle says Tongan in Tipperley. Tongan. Ah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tongan's too far. Necking's polite. I said it politely. And Angie Bradbury said, poor Simon, he doesn't half get ribbed by all us women. Let me tell you now, he loves it. He comes back every week. Uh, when we give him the rotor and ask him what he wants, he goes, yeah, I'll do that one, I'll do that one. He loves it, don't you, Si? Mm. He does love it. <laughs> he absolutely loves it. There's no way he'd be here otherwise. Does he get to pick and choose? Yeah, he chooses. He gets first choice. He was very brave then today, wasn't yeah. he? Very he, brave. He picked you, Claire. He probably thought he's got to get it out of the way. Right, we're going to do this, guys. Are you ready? I'm going to um, just make some. Is that too? It looks shiny. It's too it looks bright. Too bright I'm make, yeah. I'm going to try and um, dim that down a little. Yeah. And Tanya Herbert says, "Can you get her a veggie supreme, please, and garlic pizza bread?" <laughs> I know. And Elaine Lawton says, "Well, all I can say is I'm sat here laughing my head off at you lot, but I'm totally engrossed with this live. Good." And Julie Hayward said, I've just made my husband jump when she laughed out loud with the dog in reference. So. <laughs> Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six. I must tell you a funny six, story six, one day five, when I ended up in a dog in car park in Stockport. But we'll save that for another time. Let's just say oh, John no, wasn't no. in my good you books. You must tell me that. Eh? <gasps> John wasn't in your good box. No. Did you bump into him there by accident? No. <laughs> 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 That's what you thought happened there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I, I didn't know it happened there. It all, it all no, came, Claire, as, a, that's what Claire all came as a bit of a surprise. You need to stay yeah. away from the big Tesco's. You said you were going to do that one, yeah? Yeah. Should we do this multi tooth one? Yeah. Very lucky. There. So, right. all, no, these, um, all these scrapers we do sell, and the app. Me. I meant to say, I've set up another Facebook Live yeah. wish list as well. So if you go to the Sugar and Crumbs website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, drop down to the FB Live wish list, and today's date, the 28th of July, and everything that we're using today is in there. Yeah, stay away from the car park opposite the big Tesco. Is that where it is, is it? I ended up in there accidentally. Yeah, accidentally. No, yeah. I did. Of course you did, Carol. Of course, there was the motorway turn on. Pardon? You slipped over the motorway, did you? Yeah, we slipped off the motorway in there. Debbie Algrie says, French kissing in the USA sounds more romantic than necking in Zimbabwe. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> very mean. And Geraldine Allen says, so I'm coming up to Cheshire for a demo day to pick up a new puppy and a trip to Timperley. Wow, a lot to fit in. <laughs> oh, you can pop into Tesco's car park as well. <laughs> well, it's not actually Tesco's car park. It's about car park across the road. Rachel Corbett says, hi, Claire. Oh, loving God, this. Oh, God, they're all here now. <laughs> can the Edie come Sunday? <laughs> uh, yeah, of course you can, yeah. That's my mother-in-law. Of course she can. And Sheila Harvey's hoping to do uh, stripes for her mum's 98th birthday in August. Sorry, I can't talk and do this at the same time, so that's why I'm really quiet, guys. Apologies. Right. So do you want to tell them what they have to do here? So Yeah. There we go. So basically, I'm, I'm really done with that stage now. Although I can see a little gap here, so I'm going to just go and refill that quickly. Can you see it? Can you see where I mean here? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just going to fill that and then re-scrape. Um, so that's good for them to know how to do that. Yeah. That's what I get a little bit lost on. So if you've got anything like that where you don't think you've got enough buttercream in a specific area like here, um, then you can just slap a load more on and then just re-scrape so it's fine. So I'm just going to go here where that gap is. Just lob that on. Lob a right load on. And anywhere else that you think you need a bit more, probably there. 
bit up here and just a little bit round this edge. And what here. about the bottom of your cake where, it's, where you can see cake? Doesn't matter. Does it not matter? No, because that's the inny bit, isn't it? Ah, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. But I'll, you know, maybe I'll put some there anyway. Well, I've had a go, I think, four times now at Stripe Cakes. I did, I did three at Christmas and one the other week. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting better each time. Yeah. It just takes a little practice. The other thing is, you know, a practice on a live. It's not great to practice on a live when you're under pressure, is it? Well, I really should do it when I'm on my own and got time. Yeah, absolutely. Is there a Having certain, said that, this is the third one I've ever made, so... Is there a certain angle to hold the scrapers at for, the, at for best results? Yeah. I'll let her tell you that in a minute. Because when Claire comes to put the colours on, we won't have any interruptions. No more talking about Simon's journey to Timberley. So basically what I'm doing is I'm smoothing with it rather than just sort of scraping. So let me think of the best angle to show you that technique. So, let me move up there a sec. So, this is vertical to the cake. Now, I don't want to scrape like that. I want to turn it ever so and almost smooth as I'm doing it because I don't want my lines to be too deep. Next time you hold that, Simon, can you go to the overhead so we can see? Oh, we you are. went to the overhead. Yeah, yeah, you did. Sorry, because I'm looking at the camera and there's the delay. Right, sorry. And there we go. So it's, yeah, it's basically a smooth scrape. Smooth scrape rather than just scrapey scrapey. If you scrapey scrapey with your scraper sort of vertical, uh, a right angle even, um, with your cake, you are just going to take all of the buttercream off. It will just pull away. Okay, how am I looking? It's looking good. It's not looking too bad, mm. but there's a couple of spots, so let's just get those done. Uh, We've got one spot 363 there. Uh, viewers watching, which is great. Including my husband and my mother in law. Yeah, and Jane says she now knows where she's going wrong. Cool. Glad to be of service. That's the best bit when somebody goes, ah, uh, that's it. That's where it's gone a bit dodgy, a bit around. And should we have a look at your black butter cream in a minute? That's got to yep. go in the fridge for a bit, hasn't it? Yes, it does, yeah. Not for too long, but it does need to be fridged. Right, one last scrape around this quickly and then we will love that saying scrapey scrape a little scrapey room smoothie scrape some of this away from the top but I'm going to pop a border on there anyway so it's not too important and we'll be scraping more anyway so we don't need to be too worried about that just yet okay that's that one to that stage get rid of this mustard cream pop this in the fridge and I'll bring the black one back out so Pixie and Dill said, Carol, I absolutely love my first ever demonstration day on sun Saturday. And I love the song. Thank you for a memorable day. You're very welcome. And the song was by Debbie Hargreaves and Karen Naylor. Very impressive. So the demonstration days, ladies, if you want to come along to those, they are great fun. We are booked up for this Saturday. They are great fun. They're ideally for people just getting together. So we just include a demonstration just to while away some of the time really and also give you an opportunity to look at some of the products that are on sale. But really it's more of getting to know our crumblies or our friend, our friends because um, you all talk to each other 
on the lives it's always nice to get to meet each other and i know lots of you are very nervous and i don't think you'll be nervous again i think when you come along again you'll feel that you're with friends you all felt very comfortable once you all came in on saturday and um and then soon before you know it you'll have been to that many like lots of ladies did when we did them before at the other venue and then i'll have you all washing up cleaning up and sweeping up and everything yeah it's amazing <laughs> how quick she can rope you into these things i tell you uh, bridget is asking she says i get blobs on the lines how do you sort this blobs on the lines that'll come off when you smooth it's it, it that doesn't matter at this stage so when, once you've filled in with your you'll see I'll talk about that when we get there. You'll see. Bear with me a sec. I'm just, I'm getting a little bit dry. Yeah, me too, actually. Mm. I think I'm drinking my water. Right. So black buttercream. Oh, hang on. Let's just take a look at that. That's still looking quite grey over here. So I could put a little tiny tidge more in there. Tidge? A tidge, yeah. Only a tidge. To be is fair, a tidge really? less or more than a squidge? Yeah. A tidge is less than a squidge. Right. Yeah. Whoop. We haven't left it too long, have we, anyway? Well, I was going to say, because when you did it tonight, you were in at five o'clock. Yeah, I left it. It was still by about half past five. And then the live's at eight, two and a half hours, so we're not there yet, can we? Yeah. What time is it now? It is. Ten to ten. Ten to ten. You're doing well, yeah. Claire. We're going to be late tonight, ladies. Over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll try and do three. Yeah, right. All right, Claire. <laughs> Just stop talking. Right. So I'll pop that to the side again. Okay. What carols are you making an extra bowl of buttercream? This is it. They all want. They all want to see extra stuff, don't they? You can't let them down. Where did I put my scraper? Uh, there's a scraper there and one there. That one. That one you're doing, isn't it? No, oh, I don't want that one. Um, you want, is it this clear one here? Oh, got it. Got it. Oh, you could do the zigzag one, aren't you? Zigzag one. Mm. I like downy pointy zigzags. Do you like uppy pointy zigzags or downy? Don't mind. I'll go with the flow. As long as you keep it in the same direction, because this one you really need to end with those staggered, staggered stripes, the different thickness stripes. You need to make sure you're remembering which way you're holding up your scraper every time you clean it off. Um, because... Well, when I was doing my cake for the pictures, I turned it round back and I was like, ugh, start again. <laughs> right, here we go. So again, it's more of a smoothing technique. I might have left this in the fridge a little bit too long, but we're about to find out. So, again, the smoothie scraper. And they're just saying, Leslie, you, Le, Les, Leslie, wait a minute. Leslie Green says, Claire, you'll be having your pizza for breakfast at this rate. It's possible. Right. Gone a little bit too deep there and it's too firm. And it is too firm. It's been in the fridge a bit too long. So I'm just going to have to quickly pop another white layer on there. That's the thing, knowing when it's been in too firm. Is it been yeah, to be fair, long? I spent too long messing about with the Swiss meringue one. Because I'm sort of in the fridge, out the fridge, in the fridge, out the fridge with them both at the same time. It's easier when you're just concentrating on the, one of them. So, extra layer of buttercream going on. It's not the hard stuff that I've just scraped off. But the co because it's cold underneath, it'll firm up this layer a little bit anyway. So that will be fine. As if I've been doing this for nearly two hours now. How does it go so fast? Am I just slow? Is that what happens? Am I just well, really the thing slow? is, I think what happened was was when we went to Timperley with Simon. Oh yeah, oh. there was a bit too much giggling going on, wasn't there? <laughs> Sorry about that. Back on that. track. Will this buttercream soften underneath now? Now you're doing this. Uh, not too much, but this layer will firm up. It will. It'll just even it out a little bit, really. So I've seen a few ladies there ask when we can come to South Wales. I haven't got it on my list. I'd love to go everywhere if I could, 
but I can't, I, I, it's just not possible, I don't think. But I've just seen Helen John say, why don't we meet up for a coffee one day? So you ladies who are all in South Wales, why don't you message each other and arrange to do that, meet up for a coffee? That'd be really nice. You should get like a, a Sugar and Crumbs friendship app. You know, like Peanut, that app to find mums near you. Yeah. It'd be like the Sugar and Crumbs <laughs> one to find other Sugar and Crumblies in your area that you can meet up with. I love Pitch that, that to John. I'll have that thought. lady going on again about the cult following that we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally missed that. I, I thought you were oh, talking you about something it? completely different, yeah. No. I don't know how I missed it. It was unnecessary, really, quite silly. Well, it usually is, isn't it, with things mm. like that? Move that ha wooden handle to the other side of that bowl when you get. Started. Oh, sorry, Mark. Yeah. There we go. Do you know what's going through my head at the moment? What? That I wonder if you'll get the right toppings. <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> yeah. Matthew, will you get the right toppings for Claire? It Is should there know. anything, anything should specific know. that we should say? No, he'll know. You will know. I'm not going to say it in front of people because it's what I have on a pizza can cause arguments. Can it? Right, well, you'll have to tell us now. It's pineapple, pizza. isn't it? It's very controversial. <laughs> I like pineapple on a pizza. I'm not sorry. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. What are you going to do about it? I don't know, but I've never understood why people have pineapple on a pizza. And I, I don't know. even this know why it's called wrong, a, Carol. This I don't even know why wrong. people call it in a Hawaiian pizza. But they don't. They don't even have an Hawaiian pizza with tomato and pineapple. I, I always look at the the pineapple one for the kids. I don't know why. Eh? Why? Because it's sweet. It oh, I see what you mean. Just brings an extra dimension of flavour, Carol. You're missing out. <laughs> You're all heathens if you don't like pineapple on pizza. Oh, I still have pineapple on pizzas. Sharon Carpenter does. Oh, we could set up the pineapple pizza gang here. <laughs> oh, all, oh my God, they're all How coming out. How many gangs are we going to have by the end of the I don't know. Night? Tracy Scriven, she likes pineapple on pizza. Yeah, Jill Cook likes pineapple. Oh, friggin' yes, hell. Yes, Jill. Out. Debbie Hargreaves loves Hawaiian and Hawaiian pizza. Kit Curran. These, say, I knew, I knew I was in the right place with these And Meecha, pineapple doesn't belong on a pizza. Who asked you? <laughs> no one. <laughs> Dale Clark Parker says pineapple is her favourite. Margaret Kirk, pineapple on a pizza. What do you like? Elaine Lawson loves pineapple on pizza. See what you started now. See, I think you actually might be in the minority here. It's, got to, it's got to be chorizo. Oh, yeah. No. Salami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's that. got to be. Yeah, yeah. Pineapple. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I think that would be okay because yeah. you'd have your salty ends to eat there, wouldn't you? True. And I, I tell you what, I do like a seafood, um, a seafood pizza with anchovies on. Yes, Carol. Really nice and yes. salty. Yes. Yeah. I, lo I absolutely love salty food. Yeah, I me too. It really bad. Nothing wrong with Ooh, pepperoni. Oh, look at that. Look, we forgot, we forgot what she's doing here. See that? She's talking now and just whacked it off. How are you doing it? How are you yeah. talking? <laughs> You're talking and doing it. We're that busy looking at, <laughs> looking yeah, at do it. Do you know what you've done? This look bit's look easy, what you've though. done again. <laughs> See, they're all, comment, they're all writing and commenting about pineapple. We've all missed it. <laughs> well, oh, sorry. I do. I'm so sorry, Simon. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It'll never happen again. <laughs> I like that. Isn't that nice what that one does? Who's got this six set, this set of six scrapers? I like that effect. Really nice. I do, yeah. Oh, yeah, I agree, Marcia. Marcia. Pepperoni. It's got to be a bit of pepperoni. Basically, anything meat apart from spicy beef. I yeah, I don't spicy like spicy beef. beef. What is that? I don't know. I don't like spicy oh, beef either. Horrible. But, yeah, chorizo, salami, uh, the pepperoni. Absolutely lovely. That is looking fantastic. great. Fantastic. I might actually give it a rest there. Yeah. Because we are 
Because we're coming up to ten o'clock. Over, and my yeah. Swiss meringue cake will be too hard if I don't stop on this stop. one. Yeah. Soon. So let's just. Take Tony O'Grady loves the seafood pizza. I love seafood pizza. I'm not over fussed on tuna on a pizza. I think no. it's quite powerful tuna. Yeah. So it can over overdo the rest of it, can't it? But anchovies sort of brings out the flavour of yeah, everything it does. else, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh man, I hope I hope he wasn't just teasing me. I hope there is pizza when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be so annoyed. Well, there have to be now, won't there? They're saying it looks like a beehive. I suppose it does really, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Looks pretty good. Can we yeah. come in at an angle where you can see more definition, please, Simon? That one? Yeah. What do we think? It's looking good. I like that. There's going to be a border around the edge anyway. Yeah. Very short, though. Do we need to clean our board with your cloth? Uh, oh, yeah, I've got a top trick for that, actually. Oh, a big one. Uh -huh. I'd like to know a top trick. Mm. Let's just get these gloves off and get some different ones on first. We do sell the zigzag scraper, but it's in a set of six. So if you go to the um, FB Live wish list, 28th of July, you'll see all the scrapers we sell. So the metal ones we sell singly, and then we sell the full set of six, uh, which are fantastic. Claire's got two that she's done before, which she showed at the beginning live. And then I think when, when she comes, we'll get her through it. We'll get her through the scrapers because the set of six has got... Um, Nine designs. I said each time you come, I think I'll get whatever you're doing. You come in to do a scraper at the same time. Get you to do a scraper at the same right, time. You can do the prep. Uh, Karen next, can do the prep. I'll do the prep. Yeah. So I'll get, what I'll do is next week when she's here, uh, you come in next week, aren't you? Yeah. Because um, oh, Claire, we haven't talked about Claire's class. Who's on Claire's class? We haven't even got your cake out, have we? We'll what are we doing? End. Should we do that at the end? Yeah. So um, Claire is here next Wednesday doing a class all day and um, she's volunteered to do a live afterwards, cake pops. Who wants to know how to do cake pops? Right. So what I am looking for is who is joining Claire's class next week and um, she's got another cake to get out of the fridge. I'm going to get her to get that out of the fridge. Oh yeah. But also while, she, while that comes out, I'm going to get her to show you her treat cake. So stay with us and join us for this class because it's going to be amazing. Right, the top tip for cleaning up your board and getting close to the cake as possible is to put a little palette knife or something similar into your cloth and hold it like this. And then you can get really, really close without your fingers getting in the way. I don't know if anybody else already knew that. Did you already know that? Is that something you already did? No, I didn't. I, I didn't do it like that. I do it with my finger. Yeah. And you can get really, really close in without getting your hand too close to the cake and mm. accidentally bodging it. Yeah. Are you impressed with my top tip, Carl? I am, yeah. There we go. Almost clean. Let's just change the bit of cloth. And use it. There we go. Have you sorted that cake out the fridge? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So while the other fridge, it, while the other cake is out, we'll sh we'll go and get the other cake out the fridge for the class. Seriously, you will want to join this class. It's going to be amazing. And I'm on comments. You love me for the day. Yay! Because Karen's on holiday. That sounded a bit sarcastic, but I didn't mean. <laughs> I didn't mean yeah. Because Karen's on yeah. holiday. Fancy going on holiday? Who does she think she is? I know for two weeks as well. Ridiculous. Two weeks. Absolutely ridiculous. And she's had a holiday, a couple of holidays this year as well. And last year. I'm jealous. Taking the mick, you know. I know. I think taking the mick. We right. need to have a chat. We'll give this cloth a rinse. Let's move this out of the way. And then we'll so bring out... in the fridge? Uh, no, that's fine now. Fine. Right, Simon, do you want to get the big cake out the fridge, please? Which cake out? Which fit this cake? Yeah. The blue one? Please. Yeah. So, ladies, thank you for staying with us. 344 people are still with us. We would love it if you joined Claire on Wednesday in her class. So, it's well worth it. It's £30 for the day. Okay, you're going to learn loads of things. And I'm going to get Claire to tell you what you're going to learn in this class. It's going to be amazing. Do you want to move this um, turn tape up the way yeah. for this cake? So, you don't make the cake on the day. You're just learning off Claire. 
she's and all the things that she's going to show you and i can see things on there already so there's macarons on there is those meringue Ooh, those okay. yes i know <laughs> this cake has been traveled it's gone down to the warehouse yeah. back to the warehouse it's been on the back it's here and then it got really hot in the heat wave over. and fallen off bits have fallen off but it's still there so tell them claire what they're going to right, make to so make in this class what you're going to make is um, you are going to make several chocolate components. So you've got a regular moulded chocolate, you've got cakesicles, you've got chocolate bubbles, they're hollow. Uh, you've got your mermaid tails and you've got chocolate covered Oreos. Uh, you've got chocolate covered popcorn. Then you've got your uh, three colour meringue, uh, meringues, no, macarons. Yeah. <sighs> your three colour macarons. Um, you've also got your... What are those shells made with? Are they the shells meringues? are made out of meringue. Yeah. So there's loads it's of like things meringue. you're going to learn in this class. Meringues, macarons, chocolate, um, different ways of using the chocolate. Coral. coral. You're going to make coral out of chocolate. Um, and then you've got your chocolate moulded pieces as well. So there's absolutely tons. Yeah, cakes of course, covered Oreos, bubbles, your mermaid tails, your meringues, your macarons, absolutely tons on it. So ladies, if you want to join this class, it's on the website. So just go to the website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Okay, go to classes, or you can go to the links where it says tutors, find Claire Corbett, and you'll find her mermaid class. Please do support Claire and join her. She's here for the day next Wednesday. You're going to absolutely love it. And think of all the things that you're going to learn in this class as well. Tons. Loads and loads of things. There it is. And Sheila Harvey says, how would you cut it? You don't. You pick everything off. Yeah, you it? just pick everything off. That's basically it. So it's almost like it's a, it's a buffet on a cone, basically. It's your dessert table all in one place. So you just come and pinch whichever bit that you would like. Yeah. So all of those would be for me, and all of those would be for me, <laughs> and most of those, those would be for me. Yeah, Basically, absolutely. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I never lose any more than that. Stage. Is the cake? Have you made the tower out of the cake? No, or? the tower is actually polystyrene, um, ganache, and everything's put on there. You could, you can make them out of cake. Yeah, it's a lot of work, and my God, would that be a lot of cake? Yes, you'd never get through that much cake. It'd be absolutely enormous. Um, so it's, a treat, it's, it's called a treat, so it's tower. a treat tower. So it's, yeah. it's designed for you to pick at more than anything, yeah. not to be sliced. So the lolly moulds that are on here, I don't actually stock them. I've not been able it's to get them. Two different, but we do regular. Yeah, we do yeah, have well. other lolly moulds, and you can get some of them off eBay as well. Um, so, but having said that, Claire's going to be here next week, and we're going to use maybe other things that maybe are not on this cake because yeah. uh, if we haven't got them we're going to so, use a different cakesicle mold yeah than this one we're going to use the uh like that pyramidy one yes that's right yeah we're going to use that one because if i could have got that one i would have used that one anyway yeah. for this cake because i think that would look better because you it would give you more like a watery feel to it yeah. does that make sense yeah so anyway, that's what we're going to do. So one of your meringues has fell off there. Yeah. So this is, this is, to be fair, Claire made that this cake months ago. Here. So she made this months ago and then this has actually been sat here while this heat wave has been in going the warm, on. And then we remember to, to put it in. The, as things started to fall off, I remember to put it in the fridge. <laughs> it's been sat behind. So who wants to join this uh, class and learn lots of things here? Good day. So you'll have a great day. And Claire also shows you so much more as well. Yeah? Always. Right, this can go back in the fridge now. Yes. And the other thing is, it doesn't have to be a mermaid treat tower either. You can use other yeah, things. Yeah, it's an example. You yeah. can use it for the cute little bears. That would be yeah. adorable. Absolutely, yeah. You know, you just think, what is it that you want to make? So if you want to make it with bears, or you could use like diamond moulds, you could use flower moulds. If you want to make it flowery, yes, you could do things for boys on there with it if you wanted to. Yeah, the options really, it's quite limitless how far you can go. Um, Elaine Wood said it's terrific, but we wouldn't be allowed to serve it at a buffet option due to the COVID restrictions, sadly. Well, at the end of the day, COVID's not going to be here forever, is it? Things do have to go back to normal. So you've got those skills. So if we only think that we can't serve things again, then well, we're you, never going to go forward. The thing is that you actually can. I mean, Buffets are still open. It's yeah. just that somebody serves you. So all you have to do 
is socially distance your queue and then you would have somebody there you would say you what which pieces you wanted from it and they would yeah. use Collins to plate those for you and pass it to you so you can still serve them yeah it, that just the way that they would do a normal buffet yeah and you could okay. also have a glove on while you pick your bits off. And the other thing is, that something like this is, is like if you've got family around, you wouldn't do it with family, would you? If you've got your family around for a little girl's birthday or something like that. So let's um, let's try and be a bit more positive and think about the future. Go on. Do you like that order? I do. Great. Let's do that then. Which is going to be on the bottom then? That one. Actually, it doesn't matter with these stripes, so I don't no. know why I thought about it. No. Well spotted, Carol. <laughs> You've got a lot more stripes than you have colours yeah. as well. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It don't matter, because it's all random. Right. So It's very go. strict here. Uh, uh, it's very strict here. You're in Australia, but with it, things are changing here. We've all been, most of us have been injected now, so I really don't want to get into the debate about COVID. So if we could just stop that conversation, I want to be very positive about a class that Claire is offering. And I understand what you're saying, but you know what? I really don't, we, we've got to move on, all right? So, um, and it's not that, yeah, it's not that Britain hasn't been strict. Compared, never mind what the media have to say, they've actually been very strict. So, um, you know, you can only do as people do, you can only do as people do, can't you? My daughter lives in Australia and she's been going out for meals and everything. So, and she's been going out for meals for a long time as everybody has been and they won't even have the injections. So, I'd, and she's on the Gold Coast there. She's just saying that they're keeping into their state. So if we just leave England out of it and let's work on the future, that would be much better. Right, Claire. Right. Just going to cut that a little bigger. So we're just going in with our colours now into the stripes. So there you are, okay. So in we go. I like to just... Do one and then I can top it up. Can you see okay there? Yeah. You can. It's a nice colour that, isn't Beautiful. it? Beautiful. We've all gone silent now watching you. Yeah, I'm we'll holding okay. our breath. So. <laughs> I think everybody's holding their breath. <laughs> yeah, in, in class two, Mary Claire, we'll go through some different ideas that you can do. The main thing is about putting the treat tower together. And yeah. she's done a mermaid theme one, you know, for a little girl. But you know what? On, in the class, you'll learn lots of things and other ideas as well. It doesn't have to be mermaid. It's not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, you know, you could dust up, you could dust up Ferrero Rochers and have chocolates all over it and put it together. You could do loads of things. Yeah, there are so many options, honestly. The pyramid moulds are on their way, Sue. They've not arrived yet. They're on the way. At the moment, we've got the geometric mould and the bubble mould. Um, which Claire will be using in her treat boxes class. And Geraldine Allen said, a lot of skills you learn on Claire's courses, which are all transferable skills to use on anything for any occasion. And this is the thing Geraldine's with... Geraldine's done most of mine, I think. Pardon? Geraldine's done most yeah. of mine classes, I think. I mean, all the tutors, and Claire especially, when they do a class, because you're not doing it with them, they actually have time to show you so many things. Yeah. And you see people now that, you know, they have the confidence to take a chance on things that they would never take a chance on before. So, you know, £30 for a day's class is an absolute bargain. To learn all that off your tutor in the ple in this pleasure of your own home and get to keep that class forever... It's not like when you go for a, a day out for a class, you pay a lot more money and then by the time you get home, you're exhausted and you've completely forgot most things. Mm -hmm. These classes are recorded and they're yours forever. Not only that, you're in a group with other people who've been in the class and therefore you can sort of ask questions in there, little reminders, you know, if anybody has other ideas, which is great. 
Yeah, and it's nice because you've got that group afterwards. If you get stuck with something, you can ask at a later date. And Sylvia Anderson says the tree tower would be a great option for people not so keen on a birthday cake. It looks fabulous. Yeah. Jackie Sizer says she loves your classes. Oh, you have so much Jackie. patience. Leslie Green says I think that tree tower is a really good idea, even as a smaller version for Definitely. a cream tea. Definitely, yeah. It would be good as a Christmas tree. It really would. Yeah, a Christmas tree tree tower would look fantastic, mm. wouldn't it? funny you say that um are we getting the oreo modes um the supplier i buy them off is out of stock but we have put a link up for them on ebay so um once you're in the group uh once you've joined the class there's a group and we've give you a link to ebay where to buy them tracy scriven says the classes are so amazing i love them and you get and uh, wait a minute you get them when you when you want them. I mean, you can watch them when you want them. Treat Tower would be lovely as a wedding cake. Yes, it would be something really nice, that, isn't it? Because you could put all your little wedding things, your love hearts and all that all over it, couldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Baby yeah, shower. Really good. Baby shower, yeah. little chocolate teddies. And this is why it's a good idea to join this class, so you can talk about it and discuss it. Yeah. In fact, I might even change all the moulds and get that together on Wednesday and we do something completely different to the mermaid one, since you've seen it. <laughs> Why not? So. Why not? Let's do it. Let's shake it up a bit. I like a challenge. Sorry, I'm not, not talking, I'm just really... No, I think everybody else is holding their breath as well. Yeah, because I can't see too well. No, you're the same as me. Glasses I've, on, glasses I've not off. Got it's my glasses a nightmare. on, but they're sliding down. And oh, I should probably put them on because I can't really <laughs> focus on the lines too well. No, that's the same with my problem. And I think when you're live, you're under pressure as well, yeah. aren't you? You forget you're... that you've not got your glasses on. Yeah. <laughs> oh look, I can see. <laughs> wow. It's a worry sometimes. That's much better. I was really straining to see where I needed to put it. So the class is next Wednesday. It's on the um, it's on the website under classes. It's under if you go to the tutors, it's under Claire Corbett's name. It's a fabulous class. Absolutely, you're going to love it. So please do support Claire and join. You know she does come, she does come and do lots of free lives for you. It'd be great if you support her in her class. It's thirty pound. Definitely a fantastic investment. And you know there's lots of people here come up with loads of ideas. Loads of ideas. So, you know, Elaine Lawton, Halloween Tower, that's another good one. Halloween um, would be fab, yeah. Yeah, Halloween's would be, wouldn't it? Um, do I sell the towers themselves? No, I don't. Do, no. Have we put the link on for yeah, them? Yeah, there's a link there. Are they polystyrene towers? Yeah, they're polystyrene. Do you know what? I can buy them. Why did I not know yeah, that? I can buy the polystyrene towers. So, um, if anybody, let me get the price for them and I can put them on the website. I can order them then. I think but we might have a link for them as well. For them, I think it's twenty-nine centimeters. Oh, she's a Maria. Okay, right. Stripes are on. Doesn't that look fab? Ooh. It looks great. Ooh. Done. So Tracy Scriven says it. Yeah, would we're all be done. We're done. done. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> so Tracy <laughs> Scriven says it would be nice for twins. You could add their individual taste on, e.g., footy, arty, sports, etc. Yeah. It will be so fun. there's loads of ideas so don't just think of it as a mermaid tower think you know what what you really need to think is i'm going to learn macarons i'm going to learn how to do meringues i'm going to learn how to make chocolate balls i'm going to learn how to make coral i'm going to learn how to use molds i'm going to use uh, learn how to make the cakes of cool pops mm -hmm. i'm going to learn how to um uh dust and luster sprinkles i'm going to learn how to put all this together and then you know what when i make my own tower I'm going to use my own bits and bobs. That's what it's all about. I love it, Claire. Looking good. Do you know what? I love that big piece of latte in the middle there. It looks really yeah, good. Yeah, it, it does. It really does. So you've just got to be patient when you're scraping this off. I think I rushed it too fast. Do you think I rushed it last yeah, time? Yeah, you've just got to take it a bit easier, little by little. Yeah, because I was trying to take it all the way around, I think. It's, uh, it is it is 
it's easy to get carried away on it. So if you see that Claire's scraping and then taking off the buttercream, well, Swiss Marin buttercream. Very gently. And the scraper that Claire is using now it is a straight edge one. There is a straight edge one on the metal one. So on the actual metal one that she used for the design, the other side is straight edge for you to use. Yes, Helen Williams said it would be great for Xmas for the treat table. As her family are not cake lovers, they would love it. Yeah. So lots of ideas there. It's, it's ideal for people like me because I'm not I'm not a cake lover. I literally just like a little bit of a dry vanilla sponge so with nothing on it. But, Diana you know. Dench says, that's what I thought. Schools till, for Halloween, schools, tombstones, ghosts, etc. Mm -hmm. be great, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Concentrating. No, I think we all are. So, what do you think of these colours, ladies? The colour mill colours. So, they're all on offer as well. So, if you go to the clearance cupboard, I call it a clearance cupboard, but it's actually our sale cupboard. Um, if you go over there, everything is um, on offer. So, all the colour mill is on offer, and the large bottles. I am the cheapest than anybody else. Um, Twelve ninety nine for the large one hundred yeah, ml bottles. They should be twenty four ninety nine, but they're twelve ninety nine. Um, generally, I think we sell them at uh, sixteen ninety nine, seventeen ninety nine. So they're twelve ninety nine. These these colours here in the hundred ml, and you'll use them for lots of things. Don't don't forget you can you don't have to be anything. They don't have to, you can use them in your chocolate to colour your chocolate. You can use them to colour your meringues. You can use them for everything. Sorry, don't use them in your meringues. Or macaron. Yeah. Don't use them in, in any meringue base. You need water-based colours for that. Right, I'm pretty happy with... Hang on, where am I looking? See, it's a lot brighter on that screen than it looks in person. And I can see things there that I can't see here. Yeah. <laughs> like I can see these smudges up on this yeah. line that I can't see in person. Well, don't worry about that. You just take a look at it from there. It takes a little bit. You've got to take a little bit of time, haven't you? Oh, yeah. I'm just going to take some of this away from the top. So we put the clearance cupboard, uh, we fill the clearance cupboard up to coincide with payday. So grab what you can. The dark pink colour was called burgundy. burgundy yeah. Now would you top it up with colours again? No, I'm not going to. Just leave it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to, only because um, it will just cover up the white and I'll end up scraping too far back. Yeah. But the other thing is, we're now going to put those colours together, aren't we? For, yes. So we can hide things as well. Mm -hmm. um, Colour mill that works in Swiss Marine Buttercream. Yes, Geraldine. If you're going to use it for meringues, then you need to use one of the water-based colours like Pro Gel, Fractal, or um, Colour Splash. Can you go to the main camera where you can see me, please, Simon? Yep. I think the angle's putting me off a little bit on the camera. There we go. That's better. Thank you. 
it's looking good. No doubt. It's not too bad. It's just that I scraped a little bit too deep in one place, but that's not so bad. It's easy done. So what do you all think, ladies? Do you like these stripes? Aren't they lovely? They look much nicer once the top's on. Yeah. So what we're going to do is just grab a bit of cling film and a bigger pipe from that. Mm -hmm. So Lisa Katusha said she is off to bed now, but thank you very much for a great night. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. What are we going to do with the cling film? For these, to go into the one bag. Oh, yeah. Oh, new trick here. Have you got a big bag, Carol, yeah, please? Yeah. Right, let me, move. let me just move this for a moment. There. That's a bit like the cling film method you're going to do there, then, isn't it? Yeah. And then we'll do the same with the black and pop some sprinkles on. And then should we colour up some wonder dust with ruby and stuff like that? Because sprinkle them, can't we? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I think Claire done Thanks. really well. Thanks. Yeah, the oh, yeah. colours. So do you like all the colours then? They look great, don't they? I like this burgundy really a lot. I think that is gorgeous. Are you doing it that way? I thought you was going to open the bags a bit wider and put them all in one bag. No, I'm just going to pop them in this because I just find it the easiest way to do. I would, if, if I was piping something a little looser, maybe, just pop the bags in. It's a lot of bags to squeeze when you've got yeah. this many colours. So maybe if it was just two or three, yeah. I might do that, but it's a, it's a, lot, of, a lot of bags to squeeze. Mm -hmm. Okay, and roll it up. It's funny, I was showing the ladies this at the demo day how to do it. Oh, did you? Mm. Showed them two ways, this way and the... And the where you flat it out and put colours on top of each yeah. other. Okay, right, where is my big bag is there? Looking right at it. Well, we've still it. kept, so you're doing very well, half ten and we've still kept an audience of 300. Nice. So well done, Claire. Thanks for stop, stopping with us, guys. There we go. Right, which tip, which tip shall we use? Ooh. I like this big set of tips. I do. Mm. Can't decide which one I want there. Once serrated, so let's use this one. Yeah. So that's the gem 2EF. Saying they love your, they love your lives, and they're not going anywhere. <laughs> it's gone back up to three hundred and five. It's in good value. Yeah. And Maureen in New Zealand said it's nine thirty a.m. there, Looking so she's in. been watching since half past seven. Oh, turntable. Oh, we need a turntable. Yeah. Maybe turntable back. And they're all hanging on for pizza. We're all around oh, yeah. house next. <laughs> <laughs> and do we have to clean this board up the same way? Yeah, we will do. Let's do that first. Is that a dry cloth or do you need me to wet it? No, it's great, it's wet. Well, it was. It doesn't feel that wet now, but it is. Mm -hmm. There we go. Much better. There you go. So hasn't she worked hard tonight, Claire? She hasn't even finished yet. She's got to do wonder dust sprinkles yet. Yay! <laughs> Yay. 
And she very foolishly offered to do a third cake, but we're not, not doing that. It's not happening, it's not guys. happening no. no way. <laughs> not tonight. Right, so I think what we'll do up top is we'll do our twisty yeah. border. So we're just going to rope and twist all the way around, coming over the edge slightly. Just going to stop for a second, be grab my bag, and then carry on. I'm just making sure I'm just right over that edge. So for a second. And I'm twisting round and round and round. And I'm nearly out of it. Until we get to the end, and there we go. Just got it in there. And sprinkle. And then. We'll put sprinkles around there and sprinkles uh -huh. on the top. So let's just get rid of that one for a sec. And then we will do our black one which is here. With a different top. Oh, no, take it off there because I need that turntable. Oh, thank you, Carol. Uh -huh. Cheers. So I like here. them colours. And may I pinch a small bag, please, Carol? Sure. Thank you. Right, I'm going to do it with a slightly smaller one this time, and then I won't run out of buttercream. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to know, isn't it? Yeah. It I is mean, to be fair, to if you had more time, you could have refilled and done a bit more colour. Yeah, but I would have. Yeah, that's the thing with it's on a line. You just got to go with. It. Just got to get it done, haven't you? Yes. I think sometimes people like when I, because I'm not a professional and I, I'm on a live, I think they forget that I've only got two hours and that's with all the prepping. Mm. Whereas if you're at home, you can take time, put things in the fridge, have a cup of tea in between stages, rethink things. Mm. You don't have that luxury with an audience, do you? Mm -hmm. Grab a black, oh, what a mess I've got over here. I've been a right mucky pup with this. <laughs> State of it. Let's put one on there. No. Come on, Claire, be sensible. Use your small one. So what we're using here is buttercream, not Swiss meringue buttercream. Butter yeah, cream. this is regular. In you go. More fingers than thumbs. Yeah. It's late. So Mandy Harvey says she loves seeing black but doesn't like working with it. I have to agree. I don't mind. And Tony Regan says one of them cakes would probably take my whole 10 hours and still not look as nice. I'm sure it would. Right. Let's just have a quick. Alison Morris said my other half has come home from work held a conversation with me and I shouldn't complain too much as he did drive me from the de to the demo day last week from Kent. Oh my goodness. Right, so the plan is little swirls round and round all around this top edge because I think that will look quite nice. Are you going overhead? Oh there, Coming that's there. good, yeah that's okay. good. So right at the edge, swirling round, and a little tail, and then coming around, and a little tail. So it's basically like little rosettes all the way around. I just think they look quite cute as a border. Just got to be careful not to go too far over with 
these ones because they do fall off if you go too far over the edge. It's looking good. Thank you. There we go with the last one. Fabulous. Looking good. That looks pretty great. So I like um, metallic -y tones. Geraldine Allen said. With this. Geraldine Allen said, Kent. It could have taken me too. Yes. Yeah. And fitted Millie in the back. <laughs> How good is that? You're loving that. What do you think of this, ladies? Isn't it lovely? How's our cool. apple cream over there doing? Still not right yet, is it? Yeah, it's still not quite there. What do you think of the microwave method? Um, I've actually never done it. Pop it in the microwave for a minute. I needed to, yeah. So should we pop this in the, should we give this one a go, pop it in the yeah, microwave? Yeah, let's do it. Good, and then should we dust up some sprinkles, sprinkle yeah, them on and let's we'll get that. done. So we're going to, we're going to um, colour up some sprinkles with the Wonder Dust. And then we're going to sprinkle them on our cake and then we would done. We'll be done. Yes, Annette Lawson says some gold bling would be lovely on the black one. Mm. And we're going to do some gold. I haven't got any of the sparkling gold, unfortunately. I used it all at the demo day and then I forgot to bring some more home. So we're going to use deep, rich gold. Right, we need to fridge that now, don't we? Oh. Not fridge. And then... Right, let's do the sprinkles. So, where did I put them? Get a bowl of them. I did. Here we go. Right, so we're going to pour some up gold. So, should we do gold ones first? Then? Yeah, let's do the gold. So, do a sprinkle of gold and then we can sprinkle them over that. Should we do cake. the strands gold? Yeah, they're pretty nice. Perfect. Which gold is it, Carla? We've Ooh. got the deep rich gold or we've got the glowing bronze. Which would you like to do? I'll do deep rich gold for this one, I think, mm -hmm. please, because I might go bronzy on that. Yeah. So, how much do you pop in? Well, I did put, I did, go on, keep going. I put two or three of them in. It goes a long way. Two. Because I've actually put you a big bag of sprinkles in right. there. That's quite a lot of sprinkles, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that. So we're using the Sprinkalicious Vegan Sprinkles and then we're just popping some Wonder Dust in. I did show you last week as well. And we're just mixing them together. And I actually did it on the live on uh, Saturday afternoon. Um, so lots of ladies took the sprinkles home and they liked them. Who was impressed who took the sprinkles home? So it's so easy to do, especially with the Wonder Dust. They look really nice. So basically it's gone from that to that. Yeah. So the ones that we've really done here is with a deep rich gold and obviously we've only put a small amount in. If you want to put more in, you can do. I quite like the tones of the colour coming like through. That. Well, yeah, I do like the tones coming through. Should we go with that? Then? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm just going to put my hand in here because that's how I do it. Yeah. I'm just going to go straight into the centre. Oh, yeah, that looks really good. I like the tones coming through the gold, do you? Mm. But you can make them all gold if you added more wonder dust to them, so entirely up to you. But I quite I quite like the colours coming through. So Sheila Pert says, Thank you, Carol, Claire and Simon. Fab Live is always beautiful cakes. Mm. Debbie Hargreaves said, I got a big bag of gold sprinkles from Saturday. I love the um Nietzsche says, I love the idea of adding the dust to the sprinkles. The alphabet sprinkles were gorgeous. Oh yeah, the alphabet. Ones, alphabet yeah. Ones, yeah. It would be really nice. So don't they look lovely? So we haven't put so much gold in these, but you know, the more gold you put in, the gold are they are. they look really good. Uh, no, I think they look lovely. If you hold a handful of the other ones next to them, then they can see afterwards. Yeah, I mean, you can see a big yeah. difference through the bar. But yes, I'll hold a handful in a sec. Just make sure I'm completely covered. 
and that. There we go. Like that. What do we think of this, everyone? Loads of love hearts. Also, another trick that I do do, but I don't want to make a mess in Carol's kitchen, is I, uh, I just pick up a couple of sprinkles in my hand and throw them at the cake. Yeah. Can I do it? Am I allowed? Give me as well. I just think it adds a little... <laughs> no, me. I like it, yeah. Uh, you might have to do it on the, on the camera so that they oh, can sorry, see. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> God, it's late. <laughs> Can't show the side one at the moment. Can't show it. Do you want to just, just um, turn it round to the front? Yep. I'm just going to keep, keep going. my hand? Yeah. Can't tell where my hand is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not just in general. Where's Amazingly, you are attached to your hand. Shut up, you guys. <laughs> It's dead tricky to try and do it. Well, like I think opposite. they've got the idea. You just like do it. Like opposites, yeah. isn't it? But you just do it from the front now because yeah. they can, uh, they'd know what you mean. I quite like that idea, actually. Makes a little mess, but because you're not throwing many, it's not too yeah. much to just grab and... Like it. They love it. There we go. Mm -hmm. And that gives it a little something extra. Yes. Right, let's get rid of that one. And do some sprinkles for that one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And right. So, should I still use these and go just add some more colour into that? Um, or would you rather I did a Shall we do bag? Ruby Ruby Rose? Yeah. Use another bag. And then put more Ruby Rose in there because I think the Ruby would go really nice with that. Or shall I do pearls this time? Yeah, do some pearls. These ones? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've, actually really done nice. a, I've actually done a bag with pearls and sprinkles. Yeah, that one. Do I that did one. a mixed one with sprinkles and other bits. See what? Yeah. Right, I'll put, I'll put that back in. Yeah. Right. 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 Oh, I know what I've got to add to my list. Oh, yeah. What's that? Wait, when I was sending a list to myself. Oh, I've added it on. For tomorrow for you. What's that? I said I'd send you some wonder dust, didn't I? Oh, yes, yeah, thank you. And, yeah. the, and the moulds, and I thought I hadn't added it onto my list. Ah. So this is the ruby rose going in. And this looks nice. It's really nice, that ruby rose. Yeah. you not got this one? No. I've only got the gold. Have you only got the gold? Um, oh, did you get them when they first come yeah, out? Yeah, we just had the gold. Sorry. Sorry. I do apologise, Simon. The camera can't reach there. Alright. Um, yeah, it was literally when you just got your first yeah. delivery yeah. and everything was pretty much flying out. And yeah. You were like, have these before. Yeah. You can't have any. No, exactly. So if you haven't got your wonder dust, get them in now because honestly they are lovely. Whoa, look at that, straight yeah. away. Very Where nice. Is it? Put a little bit more in that one. That is... Yeah, I think I put an extra spoon in, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you did. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's been crazy. No, no, no. It's nice to see that an extra spoon can make such a difference. And to be fair, you've that hardly used... Great if you look at it, you've hardly used anything out the tub. Cause yeah, because that's the still... Yeah. Pretty much at the same level it was before, isn't it? Yeah. Another, none of the tubs are full when you get them in here. Look at that. That mm -hmm. is amazing. I like that, isn't that a beautiful colour? That? that is so amazing. So that's some ruby rose, right. ladies. Let's pop that on. Let's pop that on, guys. Yeah. What you could do is put those on and then sprinkle a couple of bright golds over the top. Oh, yeah. Just a little, little Give it a thing. Lick. Yeah. Sneak. Oh, I'm going to walk out this kitchen and leave it. Are you? Yeah, yeah. It's not like you. I know. I'm tired. There's no Karen, you know. I, I know, I had to clean up the kitchen today. Cleaned it all up from the demo day by myself. Bless you. There's, There's not, not too much, not too bad, is it? No. It, it won't be. I won't, I'm not going to leave it a huge tip. Mm. Right, now. Tanya uh, Herbert says, I'm now, the proud and, uh, I'm now the proud owner of the whole Wonder Dust collection. Can <laughs> <laughs> you grab a big tin, Carol? Yes, you can. What about small looking? Uh, big baking tin in here. Is that? Yeah. 
Oh, you want? Do you want? Do you want? Do you want to sit the cake in it? Do yeah. you? Yeah. I would probably use the tin that's it, the grill pan. Uh, is it in the oven? Yeah, in the top oven. Oh yeah. It's about the biggest one we've got at the moment. You'll have to do it sideways round. That's okay. Take this bit out. Do a bit half and half. That. So it's a big board this one, so we're just going to have to go halfway around. So if I hold that there yeah. like that and put my sprinkles here, yeah. then you can see. Yeah, the ruby rose is beautiful. All the colours are beautiful. I think I did the pinks for you on um, the pinks and the greens and the blue for you. They, they all look absolutely fantastic. So just with our sprinklicious, but that looks really nice, doesn't it? Nice way to bling up your sprinkles. Definitely. So, um, Jodie and Sir Alan says, oh, Carol, you must be really tired. You sound it. Do you think Karen will come back and quickly clean up? Failing <laughs> that, Simon. That would be on two counts. No. <laughs> Simon doesn't know how to clean up. He knows how to make a nice brew after a live. Simon's always busy after a live. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but he carries on doing something on his computer. Oh, yeah. That's necessary, don't you, love? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very My important. My work doesn't stop when the show stops, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And amazingly, as you just put the last pot in the dishwasher and you wipe over the worktop, he goes, what was it you wanted me to do? But he That's does help carry thing, everything yeah. back to the car. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he does, he's a good egg, really. So who's yeah. going to colour up their sprinkles with Wonder Dust then? Has anybody had a go at doing it yet? I've done it before with other lusters, but it wasn't yeah. as vivid. These are pretty, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Really, really vivid. Yeah. And if you do it with the pinks and the greens, um, they look really lovely. In fact, I'll just I'll just put some green in one of these. So yeah. Let's see, in fact, I'll get Claire to put green in. Just have a look what the green looks like. I love that green. Yeah. So pretty. I'll put um I'll put the purple haze in here for you. So we're gonna use the purple haze. I'll put this in. Look, I'll just show you. It looks like we've used a lot but you haven't. So and then I'll pop some green in. Isn't it looking great, this cake? Where's the green? Just needs the board cleaning up a little bit again and then it'll be beautiful. It's just because it's a little uh, sticky with the luster. I think I might just run out of green. Let's see what's in the cupboard. As I chucked it in there. Right, there we go. Before, that's a little baldy patch. Let me just go back over my tin. Hang on. That right, no more green. So my green might be a bit light. Okay. That looks nice, doesn't that look fabulous, that's everyone? Little baldy patch that I couldn't see before. <laughs> Come back. Doesn't it look lovely? Uh, so Serena Lawson said she used the bright gold on the confetti sprinkles for some chocolate truffles. They look lovely. Well, we'll be using them next week on the cake pop. So when Claire Corbett is doing her class next week, so when she's done her class, um, she's going to stay for tea. And then we will, um, oh. looks like we'll be getting her dominoes and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jonathan. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then um, she's, she's going to do the live for us next Wednesday. 
So all you lovely ladies, I hope you do sign up with Claire. You're going to really love it. You're going to learn lots of skills. And you know, just because you're going to learn now doesn't mean you have to make the cake now. You make it when it suits you. You've seen loads of suggestions and I can't wait to see you when you start making them all. So it'd be great. Christmas, Halloween, baby shower, a wedding tower, lots of things. Great. As well, you can you can just stick to things that will last a long time, just just chocolate items on yeah. them as well. So you can do that. Yeah. For for now, for the time being. Right. Oh. Uh, Denise Long said, "Yes, I did. She used the Wonder Dust Sparkling Gold on the posh pink sprinkles and loved Ooh. it. Was it? Uh, isn't the sparkling gold gorgeous? Absolutely lovely." So I haven't got a lot of green in here. I'm going to get Claire to massage and we might not cover all these green, but anyhow, she can massage these. Massage and I've done the, I've done the, uh, doesn't that look fabulous? Ding, ding, ding. Stripey sprinkles. Yeah. Sprinkles on the top. You bought it. It'll look nice in some photos anyway. Right, over here again. So they're hardcore these. We've still got 230 staying with us. So 40, hey, I know, an hour later. Oh, you're hardcore, you lot, aren't you? They're very good. So I'll tidy those, those up here. If you give me them back, yeah. I'll put them in. Thank you, Carol. Mm -hmm. Right, so this is the purple, purple, purple haze. Yeah. Which is beautiful. Give that a good mix. It doesn't matter what shape sprinkles you've got. On our website, we're selling the sprinkles off really, really cheap. So we've got strands, we've got confetti. Use all the different ones. And on the on the um, live the other day, use the alphabet ones and the stars, which look really good as well. Stars are nice. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pop a little bit more. Can I just spread that? Can. Where did that? Spoon, spoony. The spoon, what have I done with the spoon? Is it under there? Yay! Oh, yay. <laughs> Thank you. Put all back up in some. So everybody's loved the live tonight, Claire. And they're saying um, dedication, doing a full class and then doing a live. Very it good. is, I'm wondering if that's a good idea now. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got to be hardcore, we get these ladies doing them. Can't fall behind Claire. <laughs> Mind you, you are getting a bonus live on a Wednesday night. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've just realised I'm here all day yeah. and all night as well. <laughs> and Paul Simon. <laughs> We discussed this earlier, didn't we, Simon? You were did. all lucky, boy. You've been requested. Are you going to do the day on the night? Might be too much for that though, wouldn't it? You have to decide. Well, I don't if, mind. if you two can do it, I can do it. Well, I've, well, well, there well, you, you go. I only used to. You stay with it. Well, exactly. Yeah, you don't overexert yourself, do you? So funny. I'm a feeling I might not put enough green in here because I've actually run out of green. But I think it'll look quite nice. That's really nice, actually. Because it's covered most, yeah. but you can still get little hints of like uh, the lemon Shine. and the, the sort of pinkier ones. Yeah. But it's like only dust, so it just makes it look like a different shade yeah. of green. That is beautiful. That is, uh, can I have these for Mermaid? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. I don't go mad. What's wrong with the others that you made? No, but I really, <laughs> this colour's perfect because it really matches the Mermaid. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Well, the blue would be nice. And why don't you do with a bit with the blue to yeah, see what they look like? Blue, yeah. In fact, that. I want that, 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 and, and if that, you do the blue, probably perfect for it. Yeah. What have got there? You've only got, got pearls. pearls. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, I've only got a bit of blue left. Okay. But mine, let's tip some of those pearls in this bag, because it may not do them. You tip half in. Oh, yeah. And I have used this about four times now. So use the spoon to see how much I just how many spoons you get out of that. 
throw it in then you can throw more sprinkles in if you need to yeah true there's only a little bit of blue there so Claire was suggesting some happy sprinkles that we sell but I, I was suggesting you know what colour your own sprinkles to be fair you've all got sprinkles in the cupboard get them out and if you haven't got them then buy the um, sprinkleicious sprinkles suitable for vegetarians and vegans as well so you can colour them yeah, up and do what really you want nice. but that's really nice yeah it looks nice that doesn't it they're, yeah. they're the right colours for your treats out next week. That looks, because you can still see. A little bit of the colour. Yeah, but they still look blue. Yeah. That's really nice. They look good. Probably want massaging a little bit longer as well, but yeah. they are lovely. Right, everyone, what do we need to say then? Do we want to bring those two cakes back to the front, four cakes back to the do front? We, didn't we need to sing happy birthday one more time? Well, we did, but I don't know if Maureen's still here. Is Maureen still here? Maureen! Don't be hiding from us, Maureen. Okay, right, are we ready? So, uh, lots of people saying brilliant live. They've absolutely loved it. Thank mm, you, Claire, enjoyed. Carol, Simon. They've had a great time tonight. And thank you, you lot, for sticking with us. Anyhow, yeah, I'm not sure you. whether Maureen is still here, so we'll do our third happy birthday. No, is it the third or fourth happy birthday? It's the third. We did the... We've done Tia, Tia Watson. The, yeah, Watson the dog. Yeah, Watson the dog. Right, and now it's for Maureen. Are you all ready? We'll have to might do it as a bit of a whisper because we have to think of the neighbours. So should we do a gentle one? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Maureen. Happy birthday to you. You hit it forever. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, that's lovely insect. There you go. That is nice. I actually think I like the quieter one better, don't you? It's, it's nice. Yeah, it is nice. Sure. Well, Claire, you've done a fantastic job tonight. That's well it. done. And thank you for coming yeah. in and showing all these lovely ladies Absolute and the gents what all your skills. And I hope in return they join you on your class and do with me so. and Simon for next Wednesday. What's so. Not? What's not going to be to love? There's no, there's nothing not it's the to be loved. Team, guys. The dream team, the dream team, yeah. So um, come and join us next Wednesday. Claire Corbett's class, thirty pounds. Sit back on the settee, relax and watch. Don't worry, you get plenty of breaks. Get your husband running around doing everything for you. Get yourself mm -hmm. all sat on the settee with all your goodies, all your snacks, everything. And uh, I'm just enjoying. We'll get Claire back in the kitchen then, showing you all her lovely treats. I know I can't wait. So uh, we will see you tomorrow night. I am in the kitchen and John is on comments. Simon will be back here. So it, Simon will be as good as gold when John's in. He doesn't say a word. And we will end early because John doesn't say much either. Because <laughs> <laughs> nobody reads any of the comments, basically. Oh, so, dear. Um, I'll be finishing off my cakes. That went, uh, one went a little, I was showing Claire them before. I'll be finishing off my cakes, decorating them up, and I'll think of something else. As well. Things only go wrong when you live, don't they? Things yeah. only go wrong. Right. <laughs> yeah. You've got a big audience. Yeah. So see yeah. you tomorrow night, everybody, with John and Simon. And thank you, Claire. Well, a pleasure. Done. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. <laughs> see you soon. Bye. Bye. -bye.